very scary, but... Oh, oh the oh, lift right there. Oh. They... Four behind Cupcake. Gossage. No, from tap in range. Off the front of the pin. Doesn't collect the birdie from inside 10 feet. Yes. That is so sick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfectly timed, well, imperfectly timed, right as Gossage was about to throw is when the announcer for Pickleball came blasting in. Yeah, not too bad of a start. Obviously like to clean up that bogey, but getting the birdies going. <laughs> Just Linden Disc uh, there to Kale to tap out with. I hope Prodigy doesn't get yeah, up. Yeah, he so. wanted to try it out. <laughs> Aaron's mom, Michelle, uh, apologizes for <laughs> walking through and, and Cam understandably says he goes, If I if I'm missing a putt from that ranger, you're distracting me. That's on me. Cabin in a great spot to go for it. Oh. I am so I'm an idiot. I'll catch up with you one of these days, wise guy, and when I do, pow. Oh, looks like they weren't finished uh, on the green there. Oh. Double G. Yeah, they, they know him or something. <laughs> yeah. We might need the the line painter yeah, himself here. We're gonna need the professional player benefit. Yeah. You're up there. <laughs> oh, look at that! People are gonna be so confused. <laughs> I love that. That, oh, that just cleared that up, didn't it? I love hey, that guy. Want? I love that man. Going for back-to-back -back birdies on nine and ten. Good shot by Shelly. She should take the one-stroke lead in over motions, making sure she's, she's good to go. Ultimately, over par at point three two. You got a short range tap in. Hannah and Shelly going back and forth. Eight field with Hannah coming out in front. And a few other divisions, so. Double bogey. Strange that way. I think you could throw a flippy mid-range if you just put enough hyzer on it. Paul catches the oh. very last tree. Ball from probably 50. Mm, yeah. I'm not psyched. You can. I don't know if that was a spaceship above him or maybe it was raining. Um, I think he. I think he felt like he threw it over every tree. I think he was just oh, surprised that okay. that he there was a tree left to catch it. Mm, okay. I thought it might have been a spaceship. That's also possible. We could ask him. <laughs> that was. You got to risk it to get the biscuit. He's, here's Nika. Oh. It's an uncomfortable putt, but at least he's like through the majority of the tree. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. oh my god. He didn't like that. Wow. <laughs> there wasn't actually an earthquake that day in, in Iceland. It was just Nico. <laughs> oh, man. You listen in to Simon's reaction after he throws his approach here with some tea talk. Oh, it's a little short. I'm so bad at this game sometimes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How can I make the same mistake twice in a row? Just leave it 40 feet short, airball the putt, dump the comeback, another bogey. 
And he airballed it, just like he said. Look at him. I think he's so frustrated. <laughs> oh, he's so animated. Yeah. He's such a... He's just... He's neat to watch. Yes. He's fun to watch right now. When he gets stuck, he seems to get out of it just by making long putts or making a good shot. Well, Simon didn't donk the comeback. Oh, it absolutely there. is. He's straddled out as far as he can for that. Oh, oh Nico get no love by the chains or the daylock. Get a little yeah, roll. Hit that early tree, then chains yeah. and what? Oh, mock X. Yeah, they don't like Nico's putt, man. Apparently not, and he is befuddled over there. Yep. With with these, you gotta like. If you're going soft, you gotta just pitch it in the bucket. Yeah, yeah just kind of, yeah, you're more tossing it into the basket instead of throwing it at the chains. Into the chains, Especially, yeah. he kind of, he puts so nose down. Yeah. That it looks like it just, he threw a little high and it just fell. Just the chains are right next to him. And a stroke on top. Oh, God, I can't wait to watch where this goes. <laughs> Here we go. So this is a Vulcan? Uh-huh. Oh, come out. Back to the left. Is it gonna go right again? And back to the right. How does physics even work anymore, dude? I don't even know. I don't know. He might be in space. Wow. That, was that went like, real far. That just might be in like an invisible, I don't know, space suit or something. <laughs> just been Let's try seeing it in slow-mo. How is this even a thing? I can't make my Vulcan do that. So it goes right, and then it goes left, and, uh -huh. and then it goes right again? Correct. What even, man? <laughs> it's been that's just epic it was, it's a vulcan but it's epic it was it was a decidedly epic shot that is so cool oh my that God. was fun to watch <laughs> all right I told you that's gonna happen. Yeah, oh, yeah, you did. Get up! Get up! Seriously? See what he's got for us. Is this eagle throwing his putter? No. It is. Okay. I swear it is, yeah. That's got plenty of height. What a cool angle. Isn't it? The fairway cam. Love having that. What this time. a beautiful angle to see that perfectly played shot. Yep. And uh Jeremy. I'm ready to see something sweet here. Yeah, I mean you can see what he's got in his hand. Yep. Oh my goodness. Come on. No way. Oh, yes. oh get out of town. Sick. Jeremy Center. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> <laughs> Players standing over there lie, hitting the chalk bag, putting the chalk bag down. Picking the chalk bag back up, putting the chalk bag down, <laughs> lining up the shot, lining up the shot, hitting, picking up the chalk bag. I mean, I'm not even exaggerating. No, That's what not. happened. I'm going to show you what's in my bag after I got five stitches in my head today from getting hit in the head by a disc from LeVon Wolf from about 20 feet away. Made a big gash, had to be rushed to the urgent care. Thought it was my last minute on life. It was all good. 
I'm freaking... Paul Uliberry with the day's Bushnell hole oh, no. breakdown. You can <clears> find <throat> the Edge Disc Golf Range Finder at the link in the description. Hole 7 is a 374-foot really? par 3. This hole is easy to break Rashing down. Rashing his water. He Throw it fucking straight chucked the entire thing a minute or ago. Or bogey. So let's see how here. it plays out. Simon, see if he could save us. One time we need him. Oh no! What? No, no, no! No! What happened? Yeah, you put it into a dynamic disc basket. It cut through? Yeah, yeah. dead center. <laughs> Harry looking to be the lone birdie and get himself back to under for the round. It's a big putt. Oh! Oh! oh wow! What? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Come on, Barry. Nope. Doesn't look like Bo fought through really at all on that uh, bush. Um, kind of leaving him with limited footing. Wow. Such a great what? line. Wow. That was insane. Did he filter down to the other side of that slope? Yeah, he's on the left side there. He's oh. putting for birdie. Oh my God, what a save. So uh, this morning... I was getting like Starbucks and drive through I was brushing my teeth while I was going through it, right? <laughs> I get to the window and she's like, were you brushing your teeth uh, like in the drive through there? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, well, the woman in front of you was like, any guy who can brush his teeth while he drives is pretty cool and pay, <laughs> pay for your drinks. <laughs> oh, really? I was like, what? <laughs> That's so funny. That's awesome. Yeah, but you get, you get, it pays off to be yeah. multi-talented. The next shot, this is a gettable par four. Literally behind a wall of trees and vines. And Does he have, even have space to move? Right, ready. Yes, I don't know what he's going to do. He's like, are you ready? <laughs> what are you going to do? So he comes oh, through the trees. Oh, like, goodness. <laughs> eating <laughs> limbs. <laughs> so that didn't feel good, obviously. So with full <laughs> Superman, I mentioned he looks like Superman during the first hole. He just came through a brick wall there. Oh, that's the opposite of Homer's system backing into the bush. Yeah. He's gay busted out. Did you hit your hand? A little bit. Oh, the phone. Paul McBeth calling. Spam risk. Must be Paul. And rounding off the card, Joel Freeman, end of a champion sponsored player from Loveland, Colorado. Yeah. So, so Joel here. Sporting the mime outfit. Yeah, we better Looking, not hear him talk. Yeah, I, I hopefully he doesn't even celebrate. I mean, he better not talk. Ooh. Going full out with the outfit. Team wings and all. Yeah, he, he made that shirt himself. Yeah. Looks good. But uh, Evan gave it a really good <laughs> chance. All right, Joel for the birdie. Oh no! Maybe two, one or two more pump fakes. It would have been in. Yeah. Go see each shot. You should have some sort of look for birdie. So everyone's doing their job so far. Yeah. I was Yeah.
Yeah, it's Nate. Awesome birdie from Nate. Huge pot. Huge pot. Without question. Oh, and Drew with an absolutely brimming carafe of the juice from there. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Eagle just a little high. Mm. You couldn't get a craft anymore full of juice than where Drew just was. No. Dollar here for Birdie? Oh, he hits the band. Oh, and here's the roll they were talking about. It's it. That has no brakes. Oh, God. That is. In the water? That is old water. Man. That is out of bounds. Tyler sees it, so he looks like he's going to retrieve it. But Dollar says he's going to opt to replant from there, mm -hmm. which he can do. Hits the band again, and wow, dude! Hopefully that one stayed Double in left. bounds, though. That one did stay in bounds. He's going to be near that sign there. Hmm. But again, now you've got this angle to deal with. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hits he's the top of the cake. No. Breaks. No. No. Breaks. No. 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 Breaks. Wow. Double out of bounds on this hole. Come on, come on. It's gonna sit. Oh. No, you can't be serious. It's gonna hit his bag. Wow. This is a nightmare scenario now for Matt Dollar. He was looking at a birdie putt to yeah. begin this hole. I mean, we're still looking at him from the birdie putt. No one else has made uh, an attempt yet. He's still trying. Don't hit the kick. Just, just stop. Stat. Thank you. you oh, goodness. You, you need, I've lost track. I had to look it up. Sex tuple. Is that a real word? Yeah. Anybody got a calculator? <laughs> Run. Oh, oh shit. Get it, James. Oh, good, dude. Oh. But you can do it. You got to try it. James has to try it. Dude, but that is my play. I, I enjoy the turnover flick through. Oh, the sweet. Hole. What are you throwing? Either a fairway or a driver. If there's kind of some wind, I'll just kind of jam it up there. If it's a if it's windy with the driver. That was surprising. Yeah, that was a pretty short miss. Maybe he needs to take more time. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you okay? Did I almost hit you? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the shortest oh absolute You're kidding. Just it was rejection so we've it ever was seen soft. on skins. <laughs> Good hole, Gav. I'm sorry. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> Your putt was too perfect. Oh, thank you, Basket. Oh, no. Hey, Philo. You gotta give I me got half you that on money, lunch, right? dude. You gotta give me half of that, right? I got you on at least a very nice dinner. See what Sexton's got here. He had a great shot off the tee. Looks like he should be able to attack the pin. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, he just low, though. Can it skip across? Yes, it does. Sexton. <laughs> I don't think that was the intended path to get over there, but hey, it works. I didn't even look at it. That's insane. That was I mean, out of his hand, as low as it was and as turnt as it was, you, you thought that was destined to take a dive, but skips instead, and he's, he's still going to have a chance to par it. This is game. Here we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You forgot to check the win. <laughs> wow, oh, that's beautiful. Who would you rather who would you rather not get hit in the head with a disc from forty feet away? Calvin Heinberg or Eagle McMahon? Who would you less like to get hit in the head with a disc? I would rather get hit by a train. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Good answer. That's the only right answer. It's my dream situation. Did you get your license yet? No. So was that was that like a package deal? Of like, <laughs> hey, if I come to Dismania, you have to have Alden too, or else I won't be able to come to tournament. 
That's pretty much what I told any company. I was like, hey, <laughs> you're getting old and that's, that's the deal. And this headwind. Yeah. Simon. Oh! Simon! oh! No! <laughs> you filthy man! That was nice, man. Oh! I was so... Dude, look what he just did! That's ridiculous. He was running it in, too. He knew it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, what do you got? He... Only 96. Oh, only 96 feet? Oh, I can't believe it's only 96. How is that only 96 feet? It feels like 120. I think I did. Get over here and talk about that disc and that shot that you threw to get in that position. Oh my God. Oh yeah, the, most people will have seen it by now probably, but the tattoo artist, I think from Pennsylvania, I'm not 100% sure, but sent me this. And it happened to be a great disc too. So it's straight in the bag and I don't know, but I feel better when I hit trees with it for some reason. Hän elää, että tuolla tavalla epäonnistuu tuossa, mutta se on siellä, tietysti... ei, siellä ei ihan ollut tuossa edellisellä kierroksilla tuon verran tuota väkeä siellä ei, paikan Just päälle. näin, eli, että nyt on se, en tiedä montako sataa silmäparia tuolla on katsomassa, mutta lukuisia. Kyllä. Tärkeä putti Joonatanille. Ja sinne. sinne. Siellä on tuota nyt. Spongebob CD. Yeah, no problem. English muffin. Yeah. <laughs> Pink salmon in a can. Casino chip? Yeah! <laughs> Teepee? I'm gonna have to horseshoe putt this one. Yeah! <laughs> Brown rice? Organic? It's my style. Yeah! Kev threw this one too far yesterday. Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. Violent went down fall. Violently. What the heck? And he bombed it. What the heck? <laughs> he says, hard there. I know though. Footing here. Let's see. He was talking about his footing. Oh yeah, that oh my gosh, that plant foot just slips and Kev goes down on a pile of dust. He's okay, folks. It feels like a little separation might be happening out here. Well, and I'm, I'm not talking about like the, what my parents did when I was seven. It, I, I swear it wasn't my fault. I'm talking about a little lead card separation here. Here comes the putter. To no. Okay. Happy holds off. He might have been letting out a sneeze there as well, though. That's what that sounded like. <laughs> I was pretty excited to this, for this uh, putt to be showcased on film here. You guys are in for a special treat. Yeah, getting confirmation from the group that he's legal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like those trees very much. <laughs> and here's a, a good slow mo replay of it. <laughs> yeah, I got rid of those trees real quick. I, oh. I didn't like them. And <laughs> my dad helped me up right away. <laughs> then me and Derek put ourselves together after that one. <laughs> yeah, I oh. knew it. It was on film and everything. And Craig told me he got three different angles of slow mo on that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well worth the camera cost, <laughs> yeah. that's for sure. Yep. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to throw Halo disc. Settles down on the path there behind the basket. It's inbounds. We had Halo before Halo, so... 
Was that you had that before Halo was even out? No, this crap had Halo before Halo. Mmm. Mm. What year did Halo come out? Ooh, more smack talk. Okay. 2019 courses. Halo before. Talking about who had what disc tech first. Oh, finally got one up high. Get it in the f serious. Nico reminding himself the object of the game. I can appreciate that. commercial break we saw our top 10 leaderboard and Greg Barsby has officially birdied hole number 18 he finished with four straight birdies so Barsby is now in that tie for the lead and thought he was <laughs> yes uh, holding a sneeze and waiting for Nico to putt is a good way for me to maybe have an aneurysm because we all know that I could have been holding it for quite a while. So uh, thankfully, <laughs> I was able to hold on long enough and not have a problem. Watching closely this shot from Joel Freeman. No, God, dude. Somebody want to hold on to their disc a little tighter back there? Some commentary there, Nate Perkins, with the group. What's going on? Yeah, right before Joel threw another player on the card, accidentally dropped their disc, and I believe it distracted Joel, and he mentioned something. He said, can someone back there hold onto their disc a little tighter? And there was some palpable tension in the air, Grant. A little bit of early intensity here in Columbia. Jumping ahead to Garrett Gerthy. He's on the third. Oh, up and over the third, and I think we're okay here. Got a little nervous after some of the events of recent weeks. Wayward discs, finding targets of flesh and bone. I think we'll be all right, though. Get to moving left to right. And even Dylan doesn't know what happened. That was crazy. Caught the T sign. <laughs> <laughs> he, he apologized to Simon. It's perfect it. for that moment. It doesn't even yeah. rattle him hardly. He's still no. smiling. Yeah. Four under par. Nico LaCastro, three under par. Devin Owens, two under par. And Al, one under par. As Dana's giving. Dana's giving the stare down to Devin. Rightfully so. And that guy means business, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. We played all their practice rounds together as Dossie, as I like to call him, lines up the... Why do you call him Dossie? Ados. Ados, okay. Dossie, yep. yeah, it's probably... Uh... So Aiden's tee shot actually end up in the tree, so he's Oh, it's still the... in the tree. Yeah, he's playing the rule of verticality here. Oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> Says, hang on, you don't need your mini. <laughs> I can mark my own life. <laughs> he wasn't throwing two seconds earlier. <laughs> I kind of wish he was. Yeah, there's not bats in the trees around here. There's oh. discs as well. Yes, yeah, okay. Oh, well, at least he knows exactly yeah. where to play from now. All right, let's see how Dossie can reset here. Imagine if another disc came down. <laughs> <laughs> or an anvil. <laughs> like a Wile E. Coyote cartoon. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Are you serious? Oh, nice little slow mo from little Gabe. Slow-mo. I touched one leaf. It kind of hung in the air a little bit with that headwind and uh, full confidence. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man down. Man down. <laughs> I agree with Calvin. Yeah. A very nice butt. Yeah. So that's a football, right? If you fall forward, it is a football. Yeah. Did you fall inside the circle? This is inside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so, yeah. So Owen thought that she was just outside the circle. And so when she released this putt, she had too much forward mo- momentum. And so she puts down that hand. There's no re-putt. Okay. Yeah, the the rule in the past, there was a warning for the first time that that happened. Now the rules have been changed. That is an automatic one-stroke penalty. Yeah, a little more open than what we are typical to see from South Florida Open, this being our third year covering this event. Oh, <laughs> this is where you kick your leg right here. Oh, boom. Yeah, that thing grabbed me. I'm, I'm looking at you right now. You've had your pant leg up all day now because of it. I really like to make this one. I really like to send it in the chains. Get through this. Okay, wait. Very interesting. It's on one of the short holes, but... Dude, look at this thing. Love to get to see this. It had a little parachute to grab, and it just... You don't see it, dude. <laughs> you can see the relief. He's, he can't believe it. He's the only person in the crowd that didn't see it. He had already turned around, so we all cheered, and he had to turn back around and <laughs> Oh, see yes, it. giving the helix some love. You, dude, you don't see that. That's incredible. I wonder how many times I could have got stroked during my first round of Shits of States. Back, yeah. Yeah, it's really back in the basket. Oh, oh shoot, son. Don't get hurt. Is this Dude. good? <laughs> uh, do you get poison ivy easily? Uh, probably, yes. Yeah, that's poison ivy. Yeah, it's going to be okay. It's just a matter of the, the power, you know, too much or too little. But he's been online with a lot of his pots. Just yeah. not getting them to drop and... <laughs> this is kind of a unique uh, perspective. It kind of looks like, oh, is this a really this short is, hole? <laughs> this is a meme waiting to be bored. <laughs> oh, man. Again. Look at the putt. Nice. He just, uh, he just aced it. <laughs> this is Nigo for Brady. He is well outside the circle. This that's is, scary. That's a... Oh, what? Oh, my God, man. Oh, I, <laughs> I feel for him, man. That was a... Is this the shot right here? This is unbelievable. Let's just watch and enjoy. He shoots. Oh, oh see, see you later. Oh my goodness. I was thinking, really? Why? How? For real? Extremely How? Why? For real? How is that possible? It rolled 40 feet into the bushes and left me absolutely nothing 
And this is Nico for birdie. Outside the circle, though, and the wind's doing things. Um, he missed and wasn't, wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony's playing a flex into this oh, wow. right to left. Throw th over stable, huh? Yeah. It actually didn't work out too bad for the wind conditions. Yeah, and just over that OB pit on the right that I didn't even consider before, and that's what the weather's going to be like. <laughs> Here we definitely leaked a little longer than it looked like it should have, but definitely gave it a good bid. Mm. That might be danger there. Seemed more confident on the comebacker than the initial attempt. Yeah, and I mean, both Linus and Colin, I'm not ch too familiar with their game. I haven't seen them play, but maybe just some lead card jitters um, this is obviously a pretty big tournament in Sweden so definitely maybe just feeling out how the the nerves are feeling yeah Max can you speak to to what this means to Swedes to you know just be in contention at a Swedish pro tour I mean the Swedish pro tour is a pretty new addition to um, yeah Swedish tournaments in general but um, uh, national tour has always been a, a a part of the Swedish tour so they usually have four or five A tiers but Swedish Pro Tour definitely a new thing and Anders is unfortunately unraveling here he he can't get off the hole he's Cup. he's tried several times and I mean he's missing them but I'm not sure if we missed a upshot there or if he's electing to putt from the same spot but looks like he is having a day But, I mean, missing putts, but getting unlucky with these rolls, like, just get, get, getting an edge and on this cliff, it's just, they don't stop. And it appears that he had rethrown, took the penalty stroke, and then picked up that same putter to go putt from this lie. Yeah, that's a tough one. Cards the double-digit 10. All right, roller time. We're, we're getting two birdies on this hole. I've heard. That seems bold. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're getting two birdies. Just don't go over the edge. Turn. That needs to sit. I think that's, that's going on the hole. No, sit. no. no. <laughs> oh, what did we just talk about, dude? dude? He heard there's elves. He wants. Why to didn't you throw a forehand? What in the head? It was, it was the easiest forehand ever. It was literally the only thing we so talked good. about. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty bad. I told you not to do that. Um, you guys go down. If you can't find it, holler at us in the. We'll come down and help you. No oh boy. Here we go. Dude, they've been down there for like at least got five it. minutes. All right. Oh. Hey, did you guys find it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got cool. it. We're good. All right, Gain and Gavin back. Good deal. See All right. Yeah, you you got your circle three putt. This my spot, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Right Grab your putts. Okay. Gannon, did you eat a lot of those apples earlier? Yeah. I didn't like him though. Made me kind of feel a little weird, but you guys quit talking like but <laughs> Good. Doesn't matter. The wind stops. What do you mean it doesn't matter? You're a terrible caddy. But I wrestle. So why would it matter? Humphreys is parked. Bro, oh, come on! I don't know how that came out. Yeah, it's just disc golf, man. It's a, a tale as old as time. Eyes the hillside. Yeah, you know what's in the final round forecast? Um, I was thinking it's going to be a little nicer than this, but uh, maybe a little cooler is kind of what I heard. Don't know for sure. Um, definitely should be looking at that, though. Oh, no. What? Oh, my Off the OB wall on on the the top of the wall and then it somehow spins back in or gets pushed back in with the wind yeah that was a wild one uh, Gannon and I were both standing there like oh, I've never seen that before <sighs> this is germs disc on this lift chair and I told him no. I would knock it down if he gave me another one of his discs <laughs> I threw that one <laughs> <laughs> and it stopped somehow right on top of the other one. So now there's two of Germ's tournament discs like 30 <laughs> minutes before he tees off on that lift chair. I, 
I don't know how this happened. This is a one in a million. I, I could not believe this. And if you no. pause this, no. this video... <laughs> <laughs> this video went on for quite a while. Joe just re kept recording. The second that he stopped recording, I screamed at the my top at the top of my lungs. Nate, what did you do? <laughs> and, and when I looked, when Joe showed me that he recorded the whole thing, I couldn't wait to hear the audio back for that because I'm sure it would have told the story even better. But Are watching the footage that I'm out of there because speaking I don't want to embarrass myself even yeah, more. Yeah, speaking of getting out of the way of the cameras. <laughs> I remember that stupid little branch impaled my nipple, so I had to try to deal with the situation before I had to throw. Measured play out of our veteran on the card, and let's see what kind of shot he has from there. Probably a straight putter or flex forehand. Calvin with a very lucky kick, we would say, because right is preferred to left, especially if you can stay on the path. But hard to see whether or not slip down the slope, and here we see him filming Calvin playing a lie up on top of the boulder. They figured he could not get into his lie properly, and if you were watching the live coverage yesterday, you would have seen that he definitely couldn't. His disc was wedged up into the boulder, and Brad making sure not to miss a good social media moment, trying to get some views on them reels. Yep. Yeah, for those that don't know the, the so-called rule of verticality, I've seen players misplay it a lot. You can't just take a lie up above the playing surface you landed on it, just because you feel like it. It has to be physically impossible to get a legal stance on the same playing surface where your disc is for for that rule to be invoked. And, and like Connor said, Calvin had a justification to invoke it there. There was no way to get his foot behind the disc between the boulders. Lucky two. Oh my god! Oh! What? The cable! The nice, agile spectators! Come <laughs> on! Oh, I remember this now. That's just, oh, I felt like, yeah, that's just my luck. You flag. Yes! Hey, this is the safety, I love it. Yeah, that was, I remember when I, Pulling when you teed off on this one, that we, peeing out of your hand, that was way too far, but then that road, Tends to skip a driver in, and yeah, we're trying to figure out what to do now. And I got to this point, we we're on the second hole, and I decided to speed things up a little bit. This is at 500% speed, and it came in somewhere around 52 seconds or 48 seconds, whatever it is. He makes the putt, just like you said, but it definitely exceeds the 30 second limit. And, I, and we're, I'm not here to harp on it, and I'll tell you guys that for the most part, I edited them all down throughout this entire round. It, it is always a topic of conversation, though, and I think it scares away some viewers. Ah! Dang it! Can I hate Thank <laughs> you. 
It's got to be good for the inflammation, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, Rick loves the cold plunge. <laughs> See? Gannon's <laughs> like, nah, nah, I'm good there. I don't got any body fat, buddy. <laughs> All right, we good? All right, Gannon, get this one. Into a headwind. Low ceiling roller with it. RPGs. Do the focus on this cheap camera's trash. On this cheap camera? That should be fine. Got Gannon. it. I got it. That camera costs $18,000. Not bad. Yeah, I, I'd be real. I thought that was from Dollar Tree. All right. It actually might have cost more or less. I have no idea. I just Probably made a more. number up. Thinking that it sounded like a lot, but that thing run you, Joey. with all your winning ways, $18,000 is just a weekend. Here we go! And it was safe. Hey, should I do the Josh Anthon just for him? So this is a birdie dog. <laughs> Old twinkle toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> go in. <laughs> birdie. <laughs> birdie. Birdie. <laughs> I misjudged the wind and I just threw my frisbee into Mexico. Only the only one in bounds. And if you're not dedicated enough to get down to your shorts, keep your cigarette lit, and swim around in the river, I don't know what kind of disc golfer you are. But thankfully, we've got some uh, incredible helpers out at the course that are more than willing to help retrieve your disc for you and they're located throughout a number of places on the course if i recall i think the average request was just a was a hundred bot for a retrieval and right now he's just feeling around with his feet we'll see if that gets recovered i think it's a hundred bot for the retrieval i'm not sure if that uh is then assumed to be another 100 bot for an additional tip or if the 100 bot is just what's offered up. 100 bot, eh, about $3.30. Uh. <laughs> nothing, nothing. That's some practice for This is too much fun. Right oh, that worked. Oh. Where'd the other one go? Yeah, it's... <laughs> Oh, I see. Yeah, you took it out of the bag. Oh. All right. So okay. A little tour of Maple Hill on ice. Right here, we have basket number four. Yeah! Got it. I'm going. Quite the dream come true to be here on ice skates. Going on these ponds where like all the people, you can almost see discs under the ice almost everywhere. So this is pretty fun. Now we're approaching basket number five. So nice to be out here. That's the next. Finally, basket six. Let's stop right here. Let's make this one count. <laughs> wow. I have these game plans. I think I'm gonna land in these same areas every single time, but you never know. Having the Bushnell rangefinder, no matter where I land, gives me that extra level of confidence. Right bit. to my van. Boom! Oh, <laughs> headwind into the out of bounds. And hit your van? Yes, she did. I was laughing halfway down the fairway. I, I... Simon Lazat on the feature card came into the clubhouse and gave us a piece of his mind. Let's hear what he had to say.
Uh, Let's talk. Simon Lazat. We will. He, he sounded a little uh, perturbed there. No, uh, <laughs> Simon Lazat. Calvin says, hold me now. About six feet from the edge, I'm thinking, on the circle one. I will start. It was pretty bad. Good game. This rain is pretty bad. Oh. Yeah. Just throwing it too far when you mean to lay up. Lay up, sorry. And there is a funny story on this one. This is his uh, criminal for AJ. Oh. <laughs> funny story. Are you kidding I'll me? I'll tell you in a second. He's stuck in the tree right above the basket. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently what? the last round he threw a distance driver and the spotter was all, I just throw a fairway this time. Next uh -huh. next time, AJ's like, all right. So he threw a fairway and he, and he parks did. it. Yeah. That's awesome. And you know what? All of a sudden, one stroke lead. The island hole is just huge, guys. This and this back nine also is so exciting when it comes down to the wire like this. <laughs> the crowd loved that one. Again. <laughs> AJ. AJ is such a I love having AJ on a card I film, man. He's such a great hang and he just has such good energy out there. Yeah. I can't believe that disc got stuck there. Dude, are we about to get a Oh, oh yeah! Yes. How did you know that? I just know these things. We've never had even a triple follow flight. Look at this! And Paul, they continue to lose. They got better every shot. Incredible. Yeah, three point one six average. And Adam Ooh. Hammes, what side of the tree is that going to fall on? The middle side. Well, what do we have here? If he's in there, the putt. <laughs> Okay, Whoa. what is going on? This is going to be kind of tough. Can he sit down and putt? I think his options are pretty limited. He can get a foot up there, or he can go behind the tree. Let's go. <laughs> the mammoths. He's, uh, this is wild. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> that was the worst putt I've ever seen. Oh, he went into the uh, middle of the biggest <laughs> tree in the forest. Yeah. And now he's chilling in the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. We just going to move past the fact that no, he just chucked it in the middle that, of the freaking tree. That was a terrible <laughs> effort. You're you're dead on. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta oh, love the honesty. There is going to be some screenshots of that right there, folks. That was good stuff. Jump out, too. Jesus, man, I get more of those than anybody. The other three players with threes. Here we are, last hole, the front nine, a par three at 528, and it's mm. playing 799 feet. Yes. Yeah. For the record right there. Oh, and he's in a tough position. Is that upside yeah. down? Yeah. Did he just put that upside down? Did he make it? Is he? He made it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't oh, even know wow. that was upside down. Brian. Hey, that dude. was upside down? He threw a <laughs> upside down, like, tomahawk Into the headwind. Oh, wow. Whoa. What a way to finish for Brian. Yeah, that's awesome. That was sick. Which one is this one? And everyone needs to use the bathroom. Now's the time to do it. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. On go. All right. Kick on go. Kick on go. <laughs> you got to one at a time or both. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One at a time. Y'all ready? Are you, <laughs> what's happening? You're clear of butt still. <laughs> oh gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no one said anything. <laughs> no. What the hell? <laughs> there was no one, two, three. Yo, <laughs> everyone. Wait, <laughs> Luke, Luke. Oh, you Luke. gotta start us. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> Are you practicing on accident or on purpose? On purpose. I thought it was Luke, it's his station. <laughs> I just heard him open the door and something go in. Chet, get in your stall. Two, three, go. Oh! I don't even know who made it. 
I think you don't move. Get back in your stall. Go back in your stall. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready? It Perfect wasn't checkup. Under the basket. Look at this teamwork. Oh, he's getting it back. No way. With somebody's umbrella. With an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You yeah. know, if I'm Andrew in that situation, I'm pretty sure I let him go. <laughs> oh my gosh. God, JP. <laughs> Dang, oh, oh, dude. Ah. Oh, Show your fool. Why do you have to do me like that? That no, was in the basket. Oh. Sit. <laughs> yes. Some wind conditions to be updated about, Renee. What can you tell us? Well, Victor and Andy, I can tell you that the first of all, the wind is nice, but the water is even nicer. <laughs> I don't know if <laughs> you can see me right now, but guy. man, I've been dreaming about this all day. Just sitting out here. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the beach service to come here with some cold margaritas, maybe a longero. Uh, I don't know. Get him a pina colada. Cha cha. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a pina colada. Cha cha cha. Yeah. Watch out for that. sharks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is see, a... you, see you at Hole 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's great. I love it. I love it. He's <laughs> taking his job serious, this guy. is in the front row here on Hole 18. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's got the. <laughs> Headset on, prime position. A beautiful, oh. beautiful moment there from our field reporter, Renee. I would have been able to throw when I see that guy in the water. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. We have a brave young man on our lead card. What is he lining up? Perpendicular to the T is Gannon Burr. Now, is it brave or is it foolish? I guess we'll just have to see from the result. <laughs> Lean him more toward the former, Brian. Wow. Oh, that could be really good. Uh, I don't know. Beat shot. Good? Oh, it looked like a beat. It looked good. It looked perfect. Yeah. Wow. It looked perfect. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Cannon strikes the birdie. Look at that with, smug. Uh, none of the pain on hole 12. Look at that smug little grin in his face. <laughs> the next day. We're back at the Kansas City Wide Open as we see Gannon Burr autographing the Mando sign with a little <laughs> inscription saying, sorry, guys. Wow. LaVisca, who is pinched up on the right side, throws it back into the right side. Let's see if he can... Utilize that birdie putt to give him a little boost. Which 
frisbee is that? So, uh, is that a I said, conversation I think taking here? place about. Okay, so what can all move? I mean, this is in my stance right here. Um, yeah, everything in the stance. Okay. Yep. You guys good with this glue then too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, For sure. It's not like an object placed as part of the event. Yeah, and really the conversation is about what can and can't be moved because this was here. This? A spotter is volunteering, doing their work out here, and had well, put everything off to the side of the fairway. Okay. So, Kale getting confirmation. Thanks, guys. Yeah, of course. And then, you know, I mean, shouldn't it all be yeah, movable? Yeah, that stuff, that's fine. It, this is a spotter's stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's moving it all out of the way. This makes complete sense. And the spotter certainly not expecting any of that to come into play. So but we, even if it did, no, he should I know. be allowed to move it. Of course, I'm just saying uh, I don't want any hate thrown at our spotters and our volunteers no, 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 out no, no, there no, at the no. same time. Of That's what not. I was clarifying. Of course it's, not. We do thank them for their efforts and uh, all the work that they're doing. Simerad marking his lie. Meter inbounds. And something with his stance maybe there. Yeah, but he he kinda he had a similar putt earlier this round, so you yeah, have had some struggles on the putting green today. And something something's off now for Jakob. Putting for the birdie. Now already putting for the bogey in the island. Yeah, that's that's and now this this is hard after two creep lock putts. And that is really unprecedented from this putting champion. Completely missing the basket here. And as you were telling us, Demo, just a moment ago, this is full mental, this hole, and it seems that. Some really, really intensive focusing issues there with Semerad. Luke's gonna show us the full hand now. Oh, oh, slips hard off the tee. Looks good though. Skip. The KJA though. <laughs> <laughs> like, look like a. It's a park job almost. Could it please curl? Stop! 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 Yes, it does. So he slips hard and parks the hole. <laughs> That was very intentional. Uh, that tsunami just lines up perfectly, like All stable, right. but if I get it a little more right, it's just like carrying straight from the left. How did, I held I it for so long. This disc is a little shallow, it's a little, little big for me. The rim's a little big. It's a little big, It's a flight that will just change your life as you know it. Imagine winning a major. <laughs> I have to apologize to the people that came to my clinic in Finland after the European Open. I was showcasing some backhand drives. And on one of my backhand drives, I farted a little bit, and I hit a first tree available, and I never told, I never told the clinic about it. Really? Yeah. Oh. I was already embarrassed about hitting the first tree, <laughs> but, <laughs> and I didn't think it was, it was a like, good Meh. time to say like, yeah, I farted. Like, why would I give an excuse right there at that moment? You know? True that. Never throw under pressure. Come on. Got it. <laughs> What can you do, you know? What can you do when a guy's putting ah! like that? Oh! You take out his legs, I guess. I guess so, huh? Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, it looks he's all right. All kinds of things might happen out there tomorrow and Saturday. Ricky Wysocki starts this left. This doesn't look good. 
A little 50-50 grind on the line there, and I'm pretty sure Terry's standing right next to it, and that should be out of bounds. Oh, is he trying to foot wedge it back in? <laughs> <laughs> no. <Is> that, <laughs> what was that? Some world champ love? We're watching Chris Dickerson. Uh, what did we just watch down there, Terry? What are you doing down there, guy? I mean, if the guy wants to be the four-time champ, he might need a little help from uh, from the sideline reporter. Now, he was out by a good six or eight feet. I was putting a stick down as to where I last saw him in bounds. The group will have to <laughs> confirm, but I was just providing a spot. Yeah, you're the best, Terry. Thank you for that. Yeah, so yeah. I was throwing all of my mids and putters like this. The exact way that I do now, yeah, currently. Yeah, but that was in the rain, so as soon as my disc got slick. So the worst round you've ever played, you threw it like I throw it now? I, yeah, I threw it like a chump. So now I, <laughs> I throw with a You're different talking. grip that's a little half power, half fan, and then it works great. Yeah. That's really good advice. Uh, hole seven's a par four. Um, 484 feet, you wanna hit a tight gap, try to avoid this grip. <laughs> <laughs> and go more like this <laughs> to hit a gap. Otherwise, you might just go into Shankopotamus. <laughs> Adam Hammes. Oh, oh it's retreating. No, oh, that's not what you want I've to see. I've never Return seen this before. To sender. Oh, full ski ball right there. Oh, oh my gosh. No rolling. No way. Still rolling. Now oh. she's down. Whoa! Ouch. Hmm. Wow. That needs to hook really hard. Wow, look how steep he took that in. That's did he go long? He did. There you go. I think that circle's edge. Yeah, circle's edge for Redolin. A little long. No, I'd probably go... Go straight at it. I'd go wide. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'll go straight at it. I'll go wide. I'll go straight at it. Go! Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, not going go. wide. It's not even a hard putt. Now it's wide. Now it's wide. Now it's wide. Yep. Oh, okay. Go, there we go. So <laughs> they both they both work. And the I guess you have to do a wide with the driver. What the heck, man? <laughs> <laughs> they both work, but all right, that was sick. <laughs> well, I got my birdie. That was fun. That was freaking awesome. The 13. Alan, join in. Hurry, Alan, get in. Got a tornado going here in a second. Yeah, two discs and two <laughs> actual fans to create the airwaves. This is beautiful. And this is this is what I call card mate camaraderie. Might just take off. Oh, no amount of backups but she likes that one she you, wants it you get attached right huh? oh my gosh oh wow oh full oh, that's, jacket that's the money maker hand too full commitment <laughs> oh my full shoe i mean at this I mean, point everybody's so i guess your foot's already wet it can't get wetter than wet back to the first gannon burr Swinging it out way wide. And quite high. Oh. oh that's such a terrible break for Tom Salou. Hannah went big here yesterday. Needs it to keep turning. Oh my goodness. Again, the course giving and taking. The light pole stole earlier. So earlier we saw McMahon go where Macbeth's looking right now, kind of straight off in line with with Macbeth. 
I think the more prudent play, if he has the angle, is to try to take a sidearm. It looks like he's going to go for a back. He might not have the angle, but a sidearm high off to the right and flexing would be pretty good. I just don't think that Macbeth should go for too much here. Yeah, he's trying to just get past where some of the drives landed, and he hits the tree directly in front of him. Brian, talk to us a little bit. Brian, talk to us a little bit about what Macbeth has left now. I mean, he still has such a long way to go. I mean, he just has a lot more work to do to get to the top of the hill. This is just a really rough uh, position for him. Just any time you're not close to the slope. Oh, that looked terrible right out of his hand. So I... Macbeth just completely unraveling here. I got to tell you, it's the thoughtful scramble that is the critical part here. He's trying to take this tiny gap and hits second available. Terry, he could have taken a sidearm, chipped it around to the right, got to the top of the hill, taken the par. That's thoughtful scrambling and mental strength that both got Macbeth there. This is an absolute first, Ian. <laughs> Glow golf, Glow on, the golf on TV, man. Are you for real? <laughs> yes. This is That's amazing. On the floor, those would definitely ruin your weekend. Mm -hmm. Curtis, for a stroke on the card. And a big stroke at that. Mm -hmm. Opportunity to put a little bit more, you know, I wouldn't say fear, but something to think about. For Make Eagle. him think, you know, yeah. he's not going to be. <laughs> Can't get sloppy here. Yeah. Can't play completely carefree. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cupcake's really been taking his time on a lot of these little 20 footers this yeah. weekend. I understand he's playing for a win and all, but got to stay uh, consistent. You can only get away with this for so long, I feel like. I don't know. Yeah, he's kind of going full-blown Nico right now. Yeah. Just, uh, no rhythm, just kind of standing there and indecisive. Yeah. Just trying to make the disc come out of your hand, you know? I feel like that's that's what we're watching almost, right? Yeah. A lot of thinking going on. Yep. No feeling. Just too much thinking. Mm -hmm. But he's going to get to a point, Philo, where he's like, Coming down the stretch with a win and got a big lead, you know, or maybe a couple stroke lead, and somebody on his car can just or a PDGA or a might do something just like that. You know? Call that all I the way home. Don't always have to be a player, you know. Yeah, yeah very true. He could be a tournament director, or you know, any kind of official could walk out there and you know start saying something. Hey, you know, you got to keep the pace up here. And yeah, it's not fair to the rest of the group that you get to kind of just hang out on the putting green and wait until you figure it out. He's young. He's 19. I think he'll get hooked. 19, I hear 20. you, man. Yeah, he'll get there. I hear you. Spicy. I think you can also go roller here, Nathan. Yeah, just trying to push you off to the right side. Tell us how you're feeling. I'm feeling ecstatic. I'm just feeling good overall. Maybe a little hungry. Not need to go to the restroom. <laughs> Are we? No. It's Katka Borova first. Sling in a... What? <laughs> Did she just <laughs> ace a downed basket? <laughs> is that a black case or what is that? What's the name for that? I, don't, I think that's, that's the first time I've ever seen that. <laughs> okay. I loved the height and she got kind of a wild skip there. Look what it did. Wow. <laughs> So no matter how hard you ever tried, you could never do that again. Everything about <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It is photo worthy. Put it on the gram. I agree, and I would expect all of these players to go with the hyzer. As you can see, Paul going very wide and high with an overstable <gasps> distance. Oh. oh, Paul Macbeth off the tee, slams chains and basket.
It does not stick it. You saw the spin and the heat that that came in with. That is an incredible shot. That was insane. And you could see the disc almost being in the basket and still after a second and a half bouncing out. Luke did have a great approach. Now we're with Hansen on nine. You can see what the wind is doing there as it lifts, drops, lifts, drops, then lifts again. No one knows where it's going to come down. Approach there. Man, that's a tough oh, one. Oh, man. no. Oh, wow. Wow, whoa. Wow, that went from bad to worse. I am so sorry there. That is a tough break. <laughs> and and then he cans it? What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was... <laughs> wow. So, it, obvious you know, to say that the road was not OB. That errant drive. And you see with that right to left wind just how much action he finds and what a reaction from the wind there catching the flight plate he just got beaten up and pushed ob again so this is for seven important. now oh my god what is happening here brody with no other options than going out over the Straight side and whoa, no, no way. Come back and bounce. That was a brutal the roll from the wind. It's just jumped up the wrong way and the wind took it straight oh out goodness. of bounds. Well thrown by Brody. I, I was just about to applaud the effort. It was a great shot. And just do whatever they want. Mm. I really do. <laughs> yeah, the discs. <laughs> The players don't even really matter. It's what the discs want to do. <laughs> it really is. Like, one slight bit off, and the disc can just do some crazy things. Yeah. Looks like they're discussing where Brody went out and then in. Looks like a favorable spot. I think that's right. Oh, boy. Okay, didn't go too far. <laughs> Full-on hyzer flip turnover S turn hyzer back on a putt. <laughs> Some wild stuff. Oh. No way. This is getting in to be a huge number. Dang it. Wow. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> that was insane. The happiest bogey Brody Smith might ever take. Uh, I beg to differ. No, I mean for this whole card. Oh. Oh <gasps> my goodness. No. I think every time I've played in win like this, I find myself sort of oh. feeling like we're doing something out here. It isn't disc golf, but it is something. Yeah. And I think that's how <laughs> that putt is. That's what that is. Because mm. that's a dead center putt. What is he supposed to do? Yeah. The wind is blowing through the chains so fast. As soon as the disc tries to turn sideways and fall into the bottom of the basket, it just blows right back out to James. And that oh. is just a heartbreaker. Impressive for the birdie, Holland Hanley. Own. <laughs> get him. She needs to tap out. Well, you know, we've mentioned she is in the Masters division. They call it Masters Golf when you usually let someone put out for you. <laughs> That's not legal, so you're going to have to close the deal. <laughs> Gossage? No way. He's got to be oh, and thinking, does it roll? is that rolling? And that's exactly what happens on this green. Oh, no. I was just about to say that the first miss doesn't worry me for goose it's have an second. opportunity yep. yeah sure you miss it but that he always misses a couple putts that's not his calling card but now that's out the window fully worried now that was a very short putt and a terrible result well and this is a perfect example of how you know miss putts are more than just one stroke a lot of times wow <laughs> Well, in this case, I guess it was just one, but oh my goodness.
This is Aaron for bogey. Oh, boy. That was his par look, so now he's going to have this putt coming back for bogey. And that got out of there. He's going to be pretty far. Unlikely C2 earlier after the, the putting disaster. Can he do it again? No. Those, those things were for me. All good. <laughs> yeah. That's... Whoa. Oh, boy. Lots of pace on that one, and it lifted up over. He's got a scarier putt from there, and going to end up short. Yeah, and you can see the obvious frustration. I think Aaron had a little bit of self-inflicted misery earlier, but I think the, the way this course is set up, it wants to... Just ripping. Blowing right to left Whoa. and kick. We see you. Chase card doing the work to stay in that tie for fourth position here across the board for the most part. And then Joel Freeman. Even with a couple of hiccups here and there, has played great golf all weekend long and keeps himself in that top ten. Just a couple of holes left to play. I could get over that fence line on both areas. On both areas. Paul going forehand and the champ going roller. He executes those shots so well. He what? So if they end up, we have one shot that goes for it. If they end up safe, cool. We have a got it. Oh, oh. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is essentially a wire to wire victory. How do you feel right now? Uh, just a moment, just a moment. <laughs> oh yeah feeling good feeling good you feel better now don't you own <laughs> oh yeah own. after that <laughs> can can he have a driver in his hand gannon has a falcor in his hand silver can't believe it <laughs> Let's give that one another look. Here we go with the Ace Run Pro run back. Just full commitment and that, that bad shit does some work. That's awesome. Wow. Oh. Oh, no, shit. From 50. That's unfortunate. He's really tough greens too. Lots of slopes, lots of OB. And lots of wind. Yeah. Lots I was, of changing wind. I was very impressed with how he handled himself from that distance. He handled himself from that distance. I told you I can't throw forehand unless it's tournament. And I think you're lying. All right, I'll show you. A flip? Actually, try. It's no fun if you don't. Of course, I'll try. Are you All kidding right. me? All right. I'll do as best as I can. Good boy, Hogan. That's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, he's still going. He oh. oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like, get your freaking oh my God. Get your paper <laughs> thing out. <laughs> dude. We'll I'm figure it out. Clean up after your dog, sir. Oh, my <laughs> gosh, dude. Here you go. I'll remove this. There you go, bud. You guys suck. That doesn't smell good. He's an animal, dude. <laughs> what do you want me to do? It's an this is like the easiest oh, my part. Oh. It seemed great. I'm not going to lie. 
Does anyone have a? I think Hoagie was just foretelling the future with about Simon's shot. There you go. Simon's going to tee off on one. Yeah, he's got the good distance. He's going to get it right in the sweet spot out there. And this is very interesting right here. There's no limit on time, right? Just because you threw off the dirt. I have to call that. You can see your footprint. You're saying that you threw from here. You can see your footprint right there. It wasn't so obvious. Yeah, that's where you threw from. All right. Paul Macbeth called Simon was out for a footfall. And so he'll immediately have to re-tee. The first one is a warning. It looks like he's going to change strategies off of that. And you have to wonder, you know, how much does that get into your head? You know, when you're competing and somebody calls you, do you go up and take the next shot or do you do you change your strategy? I think he's played it well. He, uh... His second shot, he took a little safe uh, hyzer line there. I think he knew that, you know, he didn't want that to be in his head, so he just played it safe. I think he did well. I had a, I had a foot fault caught on me as well, and, you know, sometimes it just gets into you a little bit, so I think he did well. And it should be noted, with that rule, you're not allowed to go and get your disc, so it, it also could play into that strategy that... He... I mean, obviously, you'd never try this. Anymore. Why not? Hmm. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, oh, my god. I made it gosh. through, though. Valiant. Wow, that's that what a is cheater. That's that's that. He's got plenty of arm to make up this distance. At least it's in bounds. Why Saki trying to reel this one in? Oh no, late Unreal. tree. Real. That's rude. Whoa. That was parked and now he's 70 feet away. Oof. Rick is not on the favorable side of nah. luck today, is he? Nah. Rick and Dick both getting broken off by a Brewster so far. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, man. <laughs> Dickerson's in there. I did not expect that one to. <laughs> Sorry. You tell the truth, though, man. I mean, that's what it is, you know? Yep. That's what happens in the woods. Yep. Here's Gannon Purr. Just outside the circle. Again, a scary one to run, though. Oh, no. Hey, gets it done, though, nonetheless. That's one way to do it, I guess. Holland from right around Circle's Edge as well. What the? <laughs> it's just, did that just stay underneath? Huh. Oh, no. I mean, it's fine. It's just weird. <laughs> Lucky and Kristen <laughs> taking their pars. <laughs> Everyone checking it out. We don't huh. see that every day. No. <laughs> and a little bit left. And read from 38 feet. Oh, wow. This guy is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Three down through four. And the only hole he's missed is almost impossible for a lefty to birdie, I feel like. I mean, he is just... Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, without <laughs> warning, that's brutal. That is brutal. Yeah. What, are, what are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> give me a, give me a minute. Why Saki for bogey? That well is off the mark. I kind of fell. Like we just watched Rick. This looks like somebody just punched him in the stomach. Yeah. Dead stop. Yep, he caught a root, my man. Yeah. He was just not stuck about that root hit. Three, two, one. Greetings, frisbee enthusiast. Try it again, come on. Salutations. No, man! How am I ever gonna get back? Nate, get a hold of yourself. 
The fans need us, man. Take a poll, put it on, it's time. Oh. Okay. You know what to say. Thanks, man. Hello and welcome. That's it! You did it! Fire world, it's the atmosphere, it's the vibe, and the course itself is just phenomenal. Okay. Well, that's one way to park it. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, so a low <laughs> release straight into the ground, thrown hard enough to get about a 200-foot skip. Alley's just outside of the bullseye. Take another look at this. What this takes is absolutely perfect contact and angle with the ground. So although she throws it downward, the nose end of the disc was just up enough to be able to produce that skip, and it was already on the perfect flight line of release. Check out that landing. The Flying V back in action. Eric Oakley at the front, I'm guessing. It's got to be. Hey, what is going on with disc golf coverage these days? Good Lord. Does Eric Oakley just wait around? Like, once he hears the drone, he just like <laughs> pops out. I would. He's always there. He's just always is there. He's got he better presence there. than I do. I he, just, I would do the same thing. He's I got just, a sense for t timing, man. He definitely does. 10 feet. And Lisa oh. kicks a tree and she has landed in the canoe. Seriously? Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> and greens, I mean. <laughs> and Lisa is allowed to move this, but she doesn't want to. Uh, the marshal's there. We tell her you can move it. It's not part of the permanent course equipment. She says no, thank you. She's already set up. She's got her foot in there. Oh, her caddy's back here. He's upset about it. He wanted her to move the boat. I wouldn't have moved the boat either. You wouldn't have. No. Would you have moved the boat? Probably yes. Oh, yeah. I definitely wouldn't have. Dang. Really a bad place to land on this fairway. Well, I like the mid-range because then it uh, Ooh, needs help. Needs help for sure. Oh, oh yeah. the backpack. Are you Let's serious? Wow. And then he moves it like, I should have moved this a minute ago. I should have moved this a minute ago. <laughs> sure. I, I uh, from the... Um, from the <laughs> <laughs> it's Birdie for McMahon. No, Ezra Robinson. This is low. Really needs to move. Come what? on. Come on. He could see the the flanners blowing there. The wind, uh, I think, had a big factor on affecting Missy's disc and the angle that she threw it on. So hopefully Lisa can adjust. Oh, my goodness. From Grass Valley, California, Jessica Weiss. It's more of a power driven flat to hyzer line. Certainly possible for Matt. He's got a little more power, but it's not enough to get all the way up to the castle on this effort. And I think his sunglasses went in the water. Oh, yeah, there will be. <laughs> oh, just barely OB, but not in the water for the sunglasses. <laughs> Whoa. Are you checking on the cameraman to see if you've got a good angle? Raven, what are you doing? Raven! With the quiver? Wow. Ravenhood? Look at what the heck just happened. I think he just, it. I think he just went Ravenhood. Can we tell him that he's not supposed to run that? He hearted that. Yeah, he did. <laughs> what? And to check on the cameraman, just like, hey, are you rolling? Hey, you in position? Because I'm about to. <laughs> are you, are you doing to... your job? Because I'm about to do mine. Okay, cool. Uh, wow. I mean, I'd be grabbing a bag of sun chips <laughs> on my way by. I think Birdie is still on the table here. This is cool. Oh. Marweed from the kitchen. It's sitting high. high a little bit. Wait, what? That's in the basket? This little sneaker. Wait, hold on. 
It hits, hits the, the pole. Did it go through the basket? I have never seen this before, Paul. Oh. I have been playing I, this golf for 16 years, and I have never seen a disc hit the top, slide over, and down and in. Got oh, it. Oh, hello. No pictures on the scorecard. That is a par. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Did you hear that? Oh, oh fans at home, you got to love it when the camera picks up the voice of the player. Big bomb from Ezra there. Oh, whoa. Oh, and just riding over the, the head of the gallery. He was so concerned. Oh, God, again. Wow. Oh. Now you're giving the crowd a bit of a scare, but he's in perfect position with that drive, and he did the same thing round one. We had a bit of a more slick tee pad. It was a little more wet outside, so I was honestly shocked to see this happen again in the third round, but here... I wonder with the speed that was coming in if he was. Oh, is that Jim? Oh, that is Jim no. Paul Mary looking like, looking like he's checking his shin after that disc bounced off of him. Whoa! Coming right at you. A little stable for the conditions. Now, what's going on out there, Justin? <clears throat> tornado. <laughs> what the heck is this, my man? <laughs> a mountain tornado? <laughs> There's like two of them, too. It was insane, but, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm being filmed. I got to throw. I can't use more time than I'm allowed. <laughs> thankfully, uh, it didn't matter. It's, uh, you know, you still got up the fairway enough to do this. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And thankfully, it is an easier, easier par four. But, man. And he's blasting at the basket, knowing he's Whoa. cut the backstop. Um, he almost turns it over into the fans. He did warn everybody that that was what he was intending on doing. He uh, just kind of said the F it and send it mentality. I should be able to save par. This is Eric looking to save his par. Fuck off, man. That's a good putt. Oh. <sighs> Freaking flying on Shut up. Heads up. <laughs> Straight up, dude. I'm sorry. I think you too. <laughs> Matty O for the six pack. And there it is. Crawl Daddy Matty. Six birdies in a row. Eight under par. Solo lead by four. Okay, watch this shot. This is a uh, forehand flick that's going to fly like a normal putter shot. Whoa. We were practicing, practicing this in warm-up. Have you ever seen that? No. It flies like a hyzer. Yeah. Your forehand. He knows. Oh. No. No way. Is it rolling? Sit down. You can't be serious. It's rolling. No, that was to win. That was to win. So now, so. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But, he, but he, he can still tie. He can still tie. If, I mean, oh Phil goodness, still has to get a putt, but yeah, he rolled. Slow rolled to 30 feet. Just straight disrespect from the basket. He made that putt. Yeah, no, it was center, hyzering. Uh, I, 
I mean, what do you what do you do about that? Like, I don't know. And I don't want to watch this again, but let's take another look. And you can see his putting form is the same as we said earlier. It's perfect. Floaty, spinny. And just a touch too high there. Oh my gosh, dude. That, his reaction is... I mean, everybody would be that way. Oh my the goodness. The change just kind of kept the disc there and spit it right back out. It's just super unfortunate. Yep. And Shepard with this big make through the snow. Full, Come on. Full commit. There the, it is. The snowmo. The snowmo. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's wrap it up. Let's move on. Thank you to our Jomez Pro Founders Club. We could not do it without the Founders Club. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Jeremy, we weren't quite, we weren't quite ready, but that, that's all right. Look at all these names what? every week. Uh, See you later. Jeremy. Oh, we're still on camera. Yeah, oh my no, God. it's all good. You're good. You're good to go. Yeah, thanks. For... Oh, I hope no one had any small children. My... This, this is eagle way out to the right on 11. Oh, it oh, almost comes back. Acting and pushing the forehands to the right. All about touch here on the tee pad, Ken. Oh, wait a uh, minute. What's going on here? No! What is this dude doing? Come on, man. Not paying attention, unfortunately. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. we got to stay out of the way. Jeff Jaquaz is on it. I mean, this is the lead group. You'd think there'd be some kind of crowd control going in that area just to <laughs> make sure that didn't happen. Yeah. And look out. <laughs> Holy cow. Splitting between cameraman and, and uh, sideline reporter, Brian, has the Matrix moves. This lead card's making him dance today. This one's coming in right near the basket. Big skip, again, splitting between. <laughs> <laughs> Follow through there, worried about possibly hitting his hand or something on a tree. And speaking of Barbasol, I once saw a full beard grown in the time that it took for Gannon to throw a shot. That's an effective one, though, right that, next to the basket. That was well done. Oh, man. Hammes checking scores. Simon looking to go straight down this middle line, it looks like. And he threw it so poorly to the left that he gets the great kick to the right into circle one. What in the world? I... Man... I, the course is going to take him away from you. In that case, it sure gave Simon a stroke. Niklas right. with the pure line, flattening and flipping up. Man, I think it might have gave him more than a stroke on that one. That was <laughs> that was first available. And now he is inside circle one. Ambulance behind the basket of 16 that was cruising into Vendor's Village, and he kind of reset, and then it almost looked like he, he just he, he forced the shot, and yeah, probably the biggest uh, forehand mistake so far at this tournament for Joel. Oh, wow. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, I love the background there. It kind of explains what happened for Freeman. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. And we have a weird happening with Sullivan Tipton's shot <laughs> coming in and skipping up on top of the stump. He's going to chattel his inner Adam Hammes and oh, climb up there. What do you think? Oh, man. He got robbed. That was shaping up really nice. It was. That was right on line. But is he going to put his foot up in there and stand one foot high, one foot low? Is he going to stand all the way up there? For me, being I was a very low-handed putter. I, my hand is down by my knees yeah. when I'm putting, so being right behind it would be real difficult for me. And he looks like he's going to jump all the way up there and get in there. I think it gives him the best chance to make it. I think so. You're going to have a more more normal level yeah. stance with your feet, but you're going to have a little bit less balance. Obviously, look at the way he's standing on the edge of that I'll there. Oh, he's going to go with the flamingo one footer. Oh, he's <laughs> doing the crane kick, man. The, 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 the Jerry kick, the Yagi right here. <laughs> the donkey kick. 
This is a 43 footer for Sullivan. Yeah, just not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Allen took almost no time with that putt and completely airballed. Oh my oh. goodness. And it has been a tough stretch of disc golf for Katrina Allen. That's putting it lightly. She's had some of her worst finishes as a professional in the last six weeks. And this is more what we see from Katrina, a little bit more measured. Sometimes when those short putts become very frightening, you want to try to get through them as fast as possible. Oh, we're looking at Burr now from our Flight Factory drone. Yond all circles trying to give this a go. Well, Cannon oh. Burr from range. Off the tree and in. <laughs> That's one way to do a fight. It certainly is, man. <laughs> you take a little luck early on. Let's see it from the ground this time. Defending champion with a little tree love. It looked like it was a redirection right at the last second. Yep. Oh, oh, look at her. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Yeah. You got to have a short memory out here at Winthrop, man, even if you do something awesome. Don't get too excited about it. Put it in your back pocket and save it for later. Got a lot of holes to play. Dink. Perfect tree kick. <laughs> the falling bark. <laughs> it is called an STD. It's a dysmania disc. Uh, I got my first STD in Sweden, and it comes with me everywhere I go. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you or where you got your STDs, but I got mine in Europe. Commit to your tee shot. Uh-oh. Oh boy, look what, look what happened here. It barely checked up on that. Did not quite find that out of bounds. Oh, it didn't? Okay. No. Uh, AJ with a beautiful upshot. He's got to finish with... <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't even, man. You're telling me, man. I don't know. I... It's so random. <laughs> oh, my God. This golf. Never change. Uh, <laughs> Cam's... We got... <laughs> what? We got TV face himself, Eric Oakley. Yeah. He's either watching TV or had no idea we were taking this. <laughs> Continue that. <laughs> I, what do you have to say about that? Eric Oakley's in awe of the Grip Sick logo. <laughs> Eric Oakley saw a really big bird behind the <laughs> camera here, and he was just dumbfounded. Beautiful. Uh, Cam with the unfortunate double there. Bit of a rough finish. Um, a good finish for AJ, though. Oh, man. Poor Eric lost a blue enforcer. Did find it, though. Did he? Oh, cool. He did. So he was out there for a reason. Exactly. Yeah, no, he wasn't just fishing. Cool. Uh, so All right, folks, we've got AJ Risley approaching his lie. This putt is for... It's for birdie, Nick. Yeah, for birdie, and it's about 50 feet, the final hole. It's actually 47 feet. I just walked it off with my eyes. An eagle... And also two shots back at Kevin is now Eagle with his five under front not oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please make a gif of that. <laughs> that and, was outstanding. Yeah, Ben Eagle almost gets taken out by a twig. <laughs> he just got cut from the football team too. <laughs> <laughs> he powered through it. Do you mind? Oh no, it looks Trying like AJ is agitated here. There must be some distraction. It looks like there's a disturbance in the green. Perhaps we can call the tournament director over here to get No, we don't the need the tournament resolved. director. This is you guys. You're literally on the course inside circle two on the 18th hole. I'm trying Jim, to put because I don't know. He's shut up. Well, I'm trying to make this. Wow, what a putt from AJ. Let's see that again, Germ. Yeah, you can see right here, you can see the anger in his eyes, yet he somehow manages to refocus himself and lock down the putt. A gorgeous hole. 
Um, 375 feet dead straight. You have OB directly to the right, and you really can't afford... And, ooh, we have a little dance troupe here. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Get it. One of the prettier flyovers I've probably ever seen. That guy's seen. doing the worm. Oh my gosh. And Emerson Keith. Wow. That was incredible. I have goosebumps. This is crazy. Okay. On 2 last season, all I would have for breakfast usually uh, was creatine and like three cups of pinto beans usually. Uh, who am I kidding, guys? All I eat is beans, okay? It's only beans, nothing else. This is what I'm gonna do to you today. Ready? Idiot. <laughs> uh, hole 13. Yeah, just another real fragile shot. Like you have to push that tree right there with OB two feet to the right of it. So if you hit it, you're likely going out of bounds. And then if you hit the gap, you have to slow fade it up to hear where Jesus is preaching to his disciples. What a beautiful scene. <laughs> and I don't mind watching Ezra and Eslomez. Were you just flirting? Were you just low key flirting with Ezra? <laughs> You are, dude. That's cool, man. I'm a little red. I <laughs> This is where I sleep. This is my spot. I see so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we've got a handsome gentleman right. Wait for yeah, it. Come on, come on. There, there he is. <laughs> we'll try to keep it PG 13. Oh. What? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it PG 13 yep. for now until like 11. What time is it? I don't got much time left. I literally walked over to Chris like two minutes ago. You got 30 minutes of PG 13. Hello, my name is AJ Risley. My voice is sometimes this low and soft and soothing. All right, should we start the clock? 30 seconds? This is Eric Oak. <laughs> Especially with Nico, we better start the clock early. Oh, 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 look at all those wood chips. He's just, oh my gosh. <laughs> Destruction of the course. Ooh, oh, yeah, tree distraction. That's no worries, no worries, yeah. <laughs> Nico, rocking these pants. I mean, respect, those are dope. I think these pants are rocking Nico, really. Yeah, I agree. But... No way. A lot, of, a lot of players will talk about their swing thought, what they're focusing on while they're throwing. Mm -hmm. What is your swing thought? Uh, mine, uh, at least recently, a lot of it's been focused on a truck passing by. There's two red trucks passing by. They just passed, they just crossed each other. I bet they waved. Is that a thing? It's like, oh, you drive a red truck? I drive a red truck too. You want to be best friends? Um, did you even have to ask? Of course. Of course I want to be friends. I picked this red truck out for a reason. Everybody else had white trucks, but I said, nah, man, give me that red truck, bro. Bro, that's exactly what I said. The guy at the dealership was like, hey, man, everybody's got white trucks. And I was like, bro, give me that red truck. That was what that wave was. And so I said, raspberry jam i mean that's one of the shorter putts he's had in the last on the back nine so far he's really been just putting his butt off and it shows almost nothing left back there <laughs> God. oh thank you nate for being nate anytime <laughs> that's a course record score it, fantastic screw you guys well, that's why they call him Loose Cannon Risley, Nate. No, they don't call me that. Well, they, they do now, buddy. Yeah, they sure do. Whew.
Hey, Brother Nate, tell me a story. Big rain drop hit my phone. I love your stories, brother. <laughs> Man, anytime. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, Big Germ over there getting his stretch on and then trying to trying to uh, show off for the camera and almost hurting himself even more. And over the years, Ian, we have had some epic backups in Las Vegas. <laughs> yes, we have. So much so that there was one backup, and this was about, this was a long time ago, okay. where guys actually were able to leave the course, go to the casino, gamble, Shut and then come up. back and still continue their round. So, All right, we're back. Kevin Jones. This is one of those holes that, I mean, I know that you guys have had this if you've played disc golf before, that it got you once, you want revenge. Here's Kevin's shot. And okay, that is well, left, but yes. way better than last time. I think that's the exact tree that he hit. Um, but last time he kicked way in there and took him two shots to get out. He actually threw the night strike a couple other times this round, I think, nice. very effectively. Nice. Yeah, it's a good disc. Oh, no. Nate. No. I love that tree. <laughs> you hit it yesterday, too, I, right? I love or, that or tree, man. One. <laughs> and, you know, Kevin's got six strokes, but if anything's going to happen, it's going to start happening right here. Mm. He really needs to hit this drive. And he goes three for three. He said it yet. That's what you want. Yeah, there's that tree on the left right there that you kind of want to miss. Here's Kevin. Oh, oh. no. Oh no. That's okay. really released. Yeah, yeah. What I remember is the most about this event, besides Nico looking like he just came out of a 70s disco, disco club, is that <laughs> this was the event that we got the first ever Prodigy mid ranges. And we were. It's just, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a God, thing. This afro is so impressive. I can't get over it. I got it. We'll pan to her. All right, joining us now is Paige Pearson, also a, uh, a swimming <laughs> Haley King. What's going on, Paige? Well, she just jumped into the water, uh, <laughs> shoes and all, <laughs> to get a disc that was only like four feet off the edge, so I have no idea. She was hot. <laughs> all right, well, I guess if you really need your disc, uh, you said now you have to run off in a moment yeah, and retrieve a disc to, as well. I might have to get her to go get mine or something. Haley, you want to get mine? Where is it? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> This is the headquarters for the Professional Disc Golf Association, so all the PDGA tournament magic happens here. And inside, we have the Disc Golf Hall of Fame. Hey, hey what's up, Germ? Let's go, let's go. All of the top players in the history of our sport are honored in here, as well as we have the Hedrick Memorial Museum. Oh, hey, sorry, guys. <laughs> What? Nate Sexton, how you doing, man? It's be disc from the 50s, from the 60s. Famous disc that you can't find anywhere else. Hey, wait a second. This doesn't go in here. Hey, where are you guys going? All right, third on the tee, we got the German bomber, Simon Lazat, representing dynamic, oh, Jesus. Excuse me. A dynamic player uh, representing Disc Mania. 
Also the sixth highest rated player in the world, 1039 rated. Once again, Simon Lazat. Still playing smart. Playing smart. Not ready to go for the water. Full commit on that one. <laughs> Love it. It's a pretty generous sized fairway, but let's see um, what the approaches are on this. Albert looks to be lining up a forehand, which is a great. What the approaches are on this. Par five here on the back nine. Like that old holy what? ground play wind action rolling out of oh, bounds. No. What? What? <laughs> or back in bounds? No way. Oh, she gets the safe call. Oh! Oh, oh, oh it's going. water. That's wet. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! What? <laughs> One more time, Mike. I'm sorry. Can't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. go back. Oh, we what need to see I... him even walk up to it because this is. I can imagine you took point four seconds. Oh, this is less, less than one second. Dude, why don't you watch where my head's facing? Like I just, I'm like. I'm... <laughs> I just was looking at the tree like, well, I'm going to hit the tree anyway. <laughs> oh my I've God. never seen anyone throw a disc like that. You're you're inventing new ways to suck. That's incredible. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. I thought I shot even. It was so windy out there. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that feels pretty good because... Is that really what I shot? Yeah, you, okay. you really shot 600, you're 1200. I saw that on shot 600 and I was like, oh my gosh, that's incredible. <laughs> Sorry. It is incredible, but um, yeah, so it feels good. On the fly. We got a nice looking throw so far here. Oh. Got a deer. So, and she noticed, she realizes that right here. Do you think it hit the deer? I think so. I certainly scared the crap out of it. There's like a 10 foot <laughs> oh vertical God. right there. That is some solid. Oh my gosh. I think I think yeah. the deer avoided it. Oh. He's had a long and storied career, and some people have their own opinions about him. You best bet Nico has opinions of his own. Oh, I try not to get on there, but trust me, I have seen that people have chimed in. But those people are just. They're meaningless to me, to be honest. They're a bunch of nobodies, keyboard warriors, trolls, online trolls. They're never going to be great at disc golf. And maybe they need to, like, stop typing on the internet and go out there and practice and maybe be passionate about something instead of talking <laughs> Yeah, these Texas cedar trees, very thick. Uh, also, some would refer to them as almost a Velcro-type tree. You get anywhere near them, and they will suck your dick, disc in and then they will not push back out in any way, shape, or form. We got Simon Lazat, representing 2005 Dismania. Oh. We got K Money, 2000, 2005-ish. Early 2000. <laughs> Paul McBeth, rocking the 90s in all its glory. Oh yeah. And do we have anybody who can play the 80s, any old guys? I think we should make a Yeah, we only have a three, we, we have three. We got, we got a four. Who do we know that's from the 80s? I, who was born I, in the 80s? Who's this guy over here? Can we get this old guy over here. <laughs> hey, you want to play with hey. us? <laughs> We need four. Yeah, I think he's down, guys. Let's go. Mr. Nate Sexton, rep in the 80s. Yeah, I'm ready to play. With pretty much the coolest bag ever. I don't need a warm up. I've stretched out quite a lot. <laughs> nice. Let's do this, guys. Get down. Get down. Two meters? Oh. <laughs> We got we got K Money up next. All right, don't don't flip yet, Archangel. I need you to be stable today. Uh, yeah. Dang, best driver. You, know, you never drove it that close. <laughs> and repping the '90s. This guy, Paul Macbeth. He's a three-time world champ. In West Philadelphia, born. Oh. 
Where are you throwing, sexy? Cobra. Nice. <laughs> Man, this old guy's got some. He's unfortunately going to be OB. Here's hooking. Oh, and that's high during that needs to Oh, no. Slow. Oh, my gosh. Yep. That's the best thing I've ever seen. Was that my disc? Yeah, it was. Okay, that's why. <laughs> look at the. Look who it hit. Oh, my goodness. I was dying of you just definitely want to focus on your landing zones here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very. It takes it's a it's a two great shot par four, and almost a three great shot if you want to get that birdie and hook it, taking <laughs> advantage of the tire, <laughs> giving the guy a shout out. He, awesome. He's now part of the course. He had to stay there until the yeah. tour tournament's over. Oh gosh, this is the final card. He's yeah. just sitting there all night long. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I'll be on top, you'll be on the bottom. I'm trying to stay humble, but I know you want to see me fumble, but I'm also down the road. <laughs> I am telling you guys, you are royally f Oh, four. Oh, up. God. Oh, my God. Oh. That was at the neck. <laughs> yeah, it was. You ever see that cheesy 80s movie where the dude has like razor blades attached to the edge of his frisbee. Huh. Are you, do you know what I'm talking about? They're at the beach. It's, it's really cheesy. He throws a frisbee at this dude and he like sticks to his neck. He's like, ah, oh, and there's like fake blood gushing out. Dude, I, I feel like I've seen that, dude. I'm... You had to have seen that. I know what you're it's talking about. It's a Frisbee about. classic. I mean, it's obviously not the image we're trying to portray mm. <laughs> for the growth of the sport, but... I I promise you, on everything I love, on my father, I'll chase <laughs> on you. On your dog? On my dog. I'll give you to Jonathan. Go now, go! Jonathan. Yeah, I'll, you'll have that much of a head start, go. All the way to the tee pad? Here, here, I'll hold it. <laughs> We're slow, come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay so Jonathan. Go, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, he did that. We've got a chump at. Oh my gosh. And that that is a first and she is you know, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> that is my job. That is my job. I Wow. That was a scary moment, folks. That was a scary moment. I have I don't think we've seen that before. I might have to get a little farther from the tee pad because if they if they're going to react that way, I might be in danger too. Okay, we're on to a bruiser here. The par 5 635 foot third. You see the mandatory tree out there. Well, whoa. Hold the phone, folks. That is a absolutely ridiculous thriller okay as i was saying the mandatory which is straight ahead not way to the right only texas you find that water burger picante sauce on the ground dude that's what i had for breakfast me too the oh whole reason gosh, i'm alive so is a, good the whole reason i'm alive is a water burger my dad and mom met at the water burger my dad used to manage really? one yeah swear to god he's in the hunt for third closest oh. and he has taken it <laughs> But Marley Andrew. So I I think if, if if Austin doesn't make his putt. Let's see this again. Big the, time putt. And look at this. 
Nate Sexton Firefly doing its thing. Oh, is that a Sexton Firefly? That is a Nate Sexton Firefly. Oof. Glad Andrew's enjoying them. Oof. I think if, uh, if. See if the rest of them can knock them down. A little bit high on probably a little bit on the left side for Matt. Yeah. He will uh, drop in the park. Oh my. What? Oh my. That is not what you want to be doing at World Championships. Oh man. Take a, take a little more time. Did he go through the chains? Because no. he went with the driver. I, th I think he just airballed it, man. I could be wrong. Game, but this doesn't look like a putt. <laughs> not at all. What? <laughs> Uh, I, I've seen that shot from him before. Well, he'll, he'll essentially kind of roll it up almost as if it's a burrito. Pick up, pick up, pick up, please pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Please pick up. Oh my gosh. What is happening right now? Are these, are they busy? Come on. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hi, yeah, I'd like to make an order for, for pickup. Hi, can I make a, an order for takeout? Okay, I'll just have one burrito. Uh, steak's fine. To go, yeah. Ten minutes? Just, just a burrito, yeah. Ten minutes, perfect, thank you. Okay, bye. Cool. Anybody here do commentary? <laughs> What are you talking about? People love your commentary. He is the only one that's ever said I have good commentary. I He's just saying that I he wants well, a bad commentary product to be out there to make his commentary look better. It's called a fail product, and that's exactly what he wants. I I mean, He's like if there's a worse, pretty if please, there's a really bad commentator out there, then that makes the good ones look even better. Is that what you're? Is that what Big Sexy's for? Yes. All right, AJ's taking a quick break. I care. Hold 13. Peter Pan Park. Mm. Great shot. Oh, wow. What'd you throw there? Uh, a dart. Nice. Great shot. There you go, folks. That's actually not an approved brand for us to be talking about. Oh, okay. He threw... Uh, okay. Sorry. Cut all that. Jonathan doesn't even he's not doesn't even have a disc in his hand. Just uh, looking out for the pedestrians. Oh, just looking out. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to take another bite. Great shot, Chris. Yeah, ma'am tougher approach with uh, trees in the way on the left side you're gonna be dealing with ticks <laughs> and isn't that on the right side and the center side and all sides I don't know I pulled I, I went over here the first round I pulled three off me on the next tee pad yeah it's the, pretty extreme out here right now yeah if you haven't heard the ticks are kind of an issue out here but um, the the, the tournament staff was actually pretty nice they went out and bought a bunch of um, deet uh, tick deet or I don't know if there's such thing as dick tick deet Oops. Dick uh, T. Dick T. Yeah. Uh, we'll just go ahead and say I said Dick T. Um, anyways, uh, but that was uh, that was available for us to to put on, and I actually I didn't pull any ticks off my leg the, um, this whole second round. So it Congrats. was well done by the tournament staff to to hook us up. With
<laughs> what score you got, dude? So you rethrows, are they penalty strips? Yeah. Yeah. Plus the strokes, that's 34, plus you were on a 6 already, so that's 40. It's a 40. Say your Boom. name. Say your name. Jake camera. Palmer and I just took a 40 at an 8 tier. Yes, she actually does practice that shot where she uses the long extension of her legs there where she sits down and then <laughs> ultimately reaches out and uh, look to be pretty effective. Double play we, we've been able to witness uh, in today's round. It's kind of looking a little shaky as we finish yeah, up. It really is. Maybe Who wants it? <laughs> Could be almost inside the circle. Yeah. It's probably. <laughs> what else is like? Cattle? Yes. <laughs> what do cattles make? I'll go out on a limb here and say I believe that is our first ever live broadcast game of Hangman uh, in our short live broadcasting career. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, creamery, apparently, the word, though. You go with the hat throw. He's definitely letting the frustration 
show. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they. No, never mind. Take it. Take it. I don't want it. You want that pioneer? Take it. <laughs> just, just keep it. <laughs> go get it right now. You go get it right now. Just because I kicked your putter once. He <laughs> <You> said, <gasps> Did you get that on film? Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> Everybody thinks Chris Dickerson's so nice. He's such a nice guy. Drop. Oh! Woo! Oh! <laughs> you said you were going to get that stroke. Told too. you. Oh my God. <laughs> How in the heck? Good shot. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> that form is crap, oh dude. God. That's the worst form in the world. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that, you have bad form, dude. Don't insult me like that. He goes slightly out of position here. He, this is a pretty long approach. Oh, and he... He hits that backside and just rolls into the water. Jeez. Something mini flying. Oh no, and he <laughs> smoked the mini right at gatekeeper crew. Solid putt for him. It's a little high. What what happens now is just unbelievable. All emotions. Frustration. He smashes it down in the bottom. Oh my gosh. And man. Well, hopefully you think lesson learned. Idiot, did not realize out of bounds was right here. Can you get your ramps out of the basket, please? All right, I'll get them out. You're the worst. <laughs> oh. I'm splitting the post in the tree, by the way. Okay? Yeah. Just in case you can hear this, it's gonna hit that. Never mind. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Road elevator, got it. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> oh. Worst hole I've ever played. Deja vu. To Ledgestone. You wanna knock that in? Doctor. Yeah, you got it. Let's go, baby. We're getting, we're making up for some. Avert your eyes. This is kind of the opposite. Where Scott's was <laughs> not easy, but he made it look easy. Yours was easy, and you made it look hard. <laughs> the worst. I think, I think it's the worst shot I've thrown. I don't. I know that I've done worse, but I can't recall it yet. That I think that's the worst I've thrown. I was given a lot of credit to Emerson earlier about his sidearm skills, but man, as Calvin showed up with his as well this turn. Oh! Are you s Go in. Oh, no. No! Oh, my gosh. No Ooh. way that just happened. Did he go inside the basket? Yes. No, he did not. <gasps> this thing is down. No way that just happened. Watch it go in and back around the no backside. No way that is the worst break I have ever seen in my life, I think. That's exactly what I said. Oh. Oh. really phasing him he's in a good mood I've, I've seen zero rattled moments out of him yeah, so far he looks totally comfortable like nothing's really bugging him nothing's <laughs> the, the phantom cart ever <laughs> comes rolling in for big germ that was the spit out for the dollars yeah wow it's just a routine now it's like 
Gives me a good idea of whether I should go ABRX3 or not. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> this is like, this is kind of blowing my mind because I, I took out this, the disc that would be straight enough to throw the shot the way I want. Yeah, That's nice crazy. shot. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. It's the last thing you really need Did out here. Did your disc just blow out of your bag? <laughs> I don't know never how, that, I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should throw that disc he wants in. <laughs> put him in. You know what? Hey, you know what? <laughs> put him in. He's like me. Come on, if coach. If this works. I'm ready. If this works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you're loving it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, it's... Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. A bit easier than it is this year. I'm just going to go with that high hyzer, and this is looking like a pretty nice line. Dang it. Oh, oh no! My off the. Oh no! Oh my God! <laughs> Good thing there wasn't anyone teeing off on two that hit the T pad. <laughs> hit off the right top there. of the basket. Oh, That's not funny, but. It, it... This guy legitimately almost ran nope. over Paul, and it's then the looked little at Paul like he life. was stupid. Like yeah. I don't know why this mower wants don't to follow that. me. I was kill. planning on mine being that. I get out of the bus. I make the corner. Mower guy almost ran me over, almost died, and now here he is creeping again. Actually, 46. That sounds like a Thunderbird. Run over big German. Gosh, dude. he throws <laughs> far. Get it, get it. <laughs> hey man. Oh come on, make the turn. Oh, just missed it. Did he just? Thanks. I think he just like legitimately ran over my disc. No way, really. I hope not. That's my Maybe best it's high gift. enough that it didn't hurt it, but holy cow. That's messed up. Did he hit it? Yes, I saw it shoot out of the back of his mower. Is it is it ruined? No, he just scratched the top. Wow. I gotta throw fast because Nightmare Man's coming after yeah, me, go but ahead, that guy's man. out to get me. I don't wanna go right now. <laughs> he almost ran me over. <laughs> then You want your legs? Can we have my disco? <laughs> he'll run yeah. them over. I don't think he'll care. That's why but I'm saying you need to hurry. To go. Get out of there quick, dude. He's coming. Come on, Jerry, please. He's coming. Jerry. No. Jerry. He's coming for you. <laughs> right. Please. Pick up your disc. Move. Skip. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this dude is on a mission to get this grass cut. There's a lot of grass to cut in Emporia. Give it up for Kale Laviska. <laughs> Which we saw in 2018 with Seppo, and I just really never thought we'd see it again. Um, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> That sucks. I mean, he just doesn't, that's, you're not in a good place if you're punching trees. I mean, he hit the tree on the follow through. <laughs> uh, poor tree's just chilling. It's just sitting there. Oh, I do really, I feel for him. I, the tree, I'm speaking for the tree right now. Usually the, the tree's going to win that battle every single time. This time I think the tree did not win the battle. <laughs> it was a fair fight. <laughs> Barely, yeah, it's barely inside of yours. Oh, let's go. Hey, I'm outside of you guys, though, so that ain't gonna matter. You crazy. Oh, yeah, he's way inside of me. Yeah. That's kind of weird, but all right. Oh, bleep that out. I set myself up for that one. He's six down through nine holes, and local favorite, Jakub. Yeah, he's trying to find his groove. Jakub has this stick that is a 100-meter mark. Mm -hmm. Just in front of him. Oh, yeah. And he hits that stake. Johansson. Yeah. Humphreys. Oh. I thought he was going to windmill dunk it, but he, he followed the rules of disc golf and made sure that he set his foot first. Yeah. Think about the lightning delays. You get to practice your lie. That's right. So the no way. Oh wow. Kevin waited an hour to jump over. Oh my.
guys. That was so cool. Oh my gosh, Kevin, <laughs> calm down. You talk about superhero stuff. What is that, man? That is a flying Kev man. Kind of at the very end of this opening is uh, really preventing Paige from getting that big hyzer out and around. Mm hmm. She's waiting for a deer that's in the fairway. And we'll show you that right now. There it is. Oh. Yeah, I think he's he's found some nice grass. <laughs> he's right at home. And Paige needs all the focus she can get, so you for Kevin. P A three, excuse me. Get on that bridge. Get on that bridge. <laughs> Asking you shall receive for Kevin Jones as he like He liked this snake. Calvin from Florida. Familiar with some nature. This guy's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> the best way possible. I mean, come on. Well, and speaking of competition, you had one other thought. You seem to follow a lot of the other professional sports, such as wrestling, <laughs> boxing, and whatnot. You have any call-outs? You want to take it there already, you, no, Terry? You, you always want to get me going. You want to get me fired up about these people that are talking about me. We already know where that's going. I don't. No, I don't, no, I, I wanted to ask about... I don't want to dive into it. Twelve seconds later. All right, that's all we've got from Nicola Castro. Best of luck to you this weekend. I, Unless yeah. you've got something else. I, I mean, all you always those do. Come guys on. that are on the... You know, when people make a post about me, it seems there's always somebody that has something negative to say about me. Shut your mouth, seriously, or show up to the disc golf course and bring it. That's it. Hey, big germ. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He waved. He heard you. <laughs> we have a kind of a connection. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty incredible, honestly. You spent some time together, right? Uh, I want germ to go first. Okay. Let's, let me show you guys how it's done. All right. I will not snake you. D what is this? <laughs> Put the snake down. No. Hey, okay. Good, good luck, Paul. Good luck, Zach. Oh, that's it. Mantas. Fantastic shot. Oh, hit the rock. <laughs> oh, no. You did not hit the rock. Oh, you snaked me. <laughs> you snaked me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'll go after that. I, you snaked. Ask Why did my disc look like ask it Paul. actually exploded? I, ask Paul. I did not snake you. He didn't snake you. He said I. He said. I said he I said, will not snake you. Oh. Yeah. That is. That's dude. the same thing as snaking. He said cobra. <laughs> he said cobra. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Has anyone ever hit that rock? It's the worst shot I've ever seen on this hole. Like this dude. tournament since 2017, like no one has marks. ever hit that rock. Hole 13. You said that we were on the correct side, as in the west side of the Mississippi. You have a standing rule. What is that for everyone at home? Oh, you don't eat Mexican on the east side of the Mississippi, so we're barely on the good side, so fiesta. <laughs> all right, is that going to be the uh, dinner of choice tonight to get all geared up for the lead card tomorrow? Absolutely not. <laughs> what is? Mall of America food court. I, I remember the uh, the tirade that James Conrad had on this hole several years ago. Oh my gosh, I, I saw it the other day. He got so mad and just yeah, he missed that he missed like a putt. That and was he went over to the stump and he just goes, no 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 no, you did it wrong. He oh. he 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 wound up. He goes and then walked away. Courtesy. So upset. It happens to all of us. Oh, James. Courtesy. Who does that? Courtesy. Jeez. Counseling. No one even asked him how his toe felt. individual so for him to tap that tree <laughs> no oh, oh no. yeah Good. no 
<laughs> For a hundo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, we didn't! That is an awkward stance. What is he? Uh, behind? I think so. What on earth did I just see? What kind of military tuck and roll tactic did James Conrad just pull out to make that ridiculous putt? And Josh had uh, some candies and he's like, hey, you guys yeah. want some candy? And Paul just looked at it. <laughs> his, he went full send on the commitment on this. He, his mouth just was just dripping saliva. <laughs> he went, so and he did it for like 30 seconds and his lap was just full of it. <laughs> I was crying. I, was, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> what the heck am I supposed did to do Did he get here? candy or not? Oh, he filled his mouth with these little sour oh, and sprees or I don't remember what they like chewy sprees. Yeah, if it didn't work the first time, try it again. It Why wouldn't perfectly. you? Perfectly. No, that's good shot, shot, Paul. Wow, good, good shot, Paul. Good recovery. Body to a baby gap on the left. Inside out, flip up to another small gap. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't hold it. I almost lost. <laughs> I lost it. I'm sorry, guys. I almost lost it when he tried wearing his hat on his neck. <laughs> he threw his hat fell off. His <laughs> mini didn't even try to catch. Okay. Game of inches. Shoe fly don't bother me. He almost killed the fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, boy. <laughs> that fly was almost yeah, done, though. So. That would have been annihilated. <laughs> you guys know what four strikes in a row is called in bowling? In bowling? No. A ham bone. <laughs> Joel Freeman sitting on one right now. Go in. Jeremy Colling on 14. Almost hit the koozie. He's going to have a scary butt One coming back. My life. Nice <laughs> shot. Now, Eagle being as long as he is, now I mean with like his arms and everything, like as tall as he is. <laughs> <laughs> a I'm, a, I'm a biter, a scratcher, a yeah. win at all costs type of guy, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'll just leave you be then. In the scrap, anyway. Unless you take over 30 seconds on putts today, then. Right in the face. You? I'll just take one, dude. I'll, I'll give you the first one. You better hope it conks me. There's no way he's gonna make it. There's no way. <laughs> oh, he got it. That was 30 seconds already? Yeah, that was 30 seconds. <laughs> you guys were talking the whole time. I was distracted. I know. But Turn no. your bone off. Of all people, you're the one to rag me? What? 30 seconds. Uh, That's that what it feels like. God. We just wanted you to know. That was 30 seconds. It literally felt like I took two breaths. I know. Calvin Honestly, got me on was, a ring timer. I'm standing there. I can't even believe ring, ring what just head. happened. <laughs> I still can't believe this. Good point. Oh, uh, that's awesome. You is that know. the new you thing? Is that going to be the new standard? I think you just set the new standard, dude. <laughs> I literally felt I did not ever think at all that was even close to 30 seconds. I would look it up when I got five. That was like a 20 second phone. timer you had on, right? No. It, it was 30. 30 it's seconds. on it's on film, like a whole 30 seconds. I even waited until you walked up to Yeah, he me. waited until you got to the live. I waited like, until you your got whole like, set up, he didn't even count. I didn't even count the set. I literally just flowed into space, dude. <laughs> I, mean, I just I didn't know what's happening. <laughs> 30 seconds went by, I felt like two seconds, dude. And that was, I think that was going to be one of your faster putts. That's what I called. I felt like you I were was getting close. ready to I think you were going to go. I think you were going to go over time. I was time. just getting ready, dude. No, I thought you were going to go like five seconds after the timer. Personally. It looked like you're about ready to go, but sometimes you fake us out. We got a stag. We got a mm. VIP stag here. 
Six glide, that's what got him the distance. What is that? The six glide got him the distance. Where's my we, dish, bud? We got your spot. I'm really getting rasped by this guy today, man. <laughs> Picking up my dish, calling the clock. <laughs> Who is this guy? He did. The, he a year ago, he didn't even speak to other humans, dude. Well, say COVID changed people. We're going to play one through eight. Then we're jumping to 16. Kevin Jones, ace hole. And then, um, that didn't sound right. He dropped like that, huh? What the? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that was real as it gets, guys. <laughs> As real as it gets right there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that looks pretty real. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my thank goodness. <laughs> what the Dude, heck? that's my snake scream, man. That's you don't hear that. It's oh like Oh my god. It's oh. very, very real. Shout out to Country Archer Provisions, Mini Beef Stick, for sponsoring me someday. Appreciate that. I really do. This is nice. It's got a good flavor to it. It's not terribly dry, a little bit juicy. Has a tiny bit of kick to it, which my mouth is really enjoying. That's just uh, one of the possibilities if you work with me. <laughs> I'm pretty good with the words. <laughs> mm, this is good. If uh, Arizona Ice Tea wants to sponsor me someday, I have a lot of qualities. I'm from Arizona. I really enjoyed this fruitful flavor. It also gives you a crazy, a crazy amount of energy. Like, I was so tired, I could barely walk. Boom, one hit, whew, zap, ready to go. Ready to challenge the day. So if you're out there, pretty good spokesman too. Rockstar energy drink. Sugar free, so I can keep slim. Also, very good if you're a rock star, kind of like me. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I love the gold plated star for everybody who, you know, has those great platinum releases. If you're a rock star. Rock star, if you're out there and you want to sponsor me, I'm a great spokesman. Very smooth with my words. And it kind of matches the brand. For how smooth this goes down the energy it gives me really gives me the confidence to move forward with success and that's why together our partnership could last a lifetime this sure is a pretty green though oh beautiful green beautiful green this is my um, favorite snack on the course special k strawberry protein meals and bars 12 yeah. grams of protein for those gains. You know what I'm Delicious. Why would you do that? Gives me the energy I need to perform at a high level every single round that I play. And that's why a partnership with Special K, I feel like, is in the mix for the future. Mm. Not only does it taste good, it's also a healthy snack, which means you're not feeling guilty while you're eating it on the course. You really feel like you're getting an advantage over the field. If you could have an edge in any sporting event that you're competing in, you have to oh, take like that. that and that's why this is I choose Special K, because I Hashtag always play with an edge. I, I ain't playing that anymore. <clears throat> oh no, he didn't. Oh, kind of like that. No, he didn't. The slip, roller, eagle. Yeah. That was awesome. Special K. Special K. Gives you those gains. <laughs>
One of the things actually about uh -huh. Europe that I truly enjoyed was being able to get a fresh Red Bull. There's one thing about Red Bull that I really admire and that is they say Red Bull gives you wings. And you might ask yourself, why, do you, why would you say that? Well, one thing is, listen, sounds like a rocket ship. Rocket ship might have little wings, but it has wings. I enjoy the fresh boost of energy I get from Red Bull. This can't be like a bad shot. And I already have wings. Completely fair. You want it back? 12 fluid ounces of pure joy. All right, the air shot was closer, but that was really good. All right. So I owe you a dollar. Everybody wants a little. <laughs> Ask went, me why I'm parked. Why are you parked? Because Red Bull gives me the energy I need to get it up the hill. Together, a partnership Actually, with like Red Bull Energy Drink could make a lot of sense given the circumstances of me being really good at disc golf, oh, this so tasting saved. delicious, together we can have wings that'll shoot us to the top. Contact my agent. Yeah. Need a break? Paul? Grab a Snickers. Oh, you're doing your little... Mmm, yeah, that's sorry. good. That'll Got turn it, any uh, smile to even a bigger one. Two cents. Two cents. Oh, that is good stuff. Two cents. I, know, I was right? feeling a little angry. One bite of this cures all. That's why a partnership between me and Snickers could be a lifelong adventure of no downs, nothing but ups. Today, I take one step closer to my goals. My goals being being more happy. I don't need that Snickers in a minute because I'm getting angry. Come on, let's go. There's no way. There's no way he's going to make it. There's no way. <laughs> oh, he got it. That was 30 seconds already? Yeah, that was 30 seconds. <laughs> you guys were talking the whole time. I was distracted. <laughs> So that coming to my way, we did describe call. that whole thing, partner. <laughs> At least he has another 20, 20 seconds or so to think about it. What is he thinking about? Maybe he's hearing my voice. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, no. Faked us all out. Oh. <laughs> can re can repeat that? That's a good one. Nico! Yo. Ever want to see this one again? You want this one back or no? No. Alright. Alright, now you started something. You're not gonna be now you started something you're not gonna be able to finish. Uh oh. You went the wrong direction. You out said here, buddy. no, I you asked you no. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, God, no. This is a battle everyone's want to see for a long time. You're going to hurt yourself. No. <laughs> well, at no, least no, I know no. I would hurt myself. <laughs> I think it takes more than a clock to the nose to take you, Nico out. I don't know if Nico's ever been clocked in the nose. He's... If it doesn't kill me, you better run. Low-key low torch me. Why don't you throw the I'm a, I'm a biter, a scratcher, a yeah. win at all costs type of guy, dude. <laughs> she like, she had it's hard enough to clink my teeth, dude. <laughs> you can't, re can't repeat that? That's a good one. A good one. <laughs> <laughs> You're a gimmick. <laughs> Jacob in for a nice easy par. Magnus will take the par as well. Unfortunately, just a little low on that birdie putt. That branch is still. What are you? Oh my gosh! He killed the basket. I think the branch had something to do with it. What happened? Put it All right. The exact course maintenance. Same spot. Course maintenance. At least they're the last group of the day. That's uh. Basket down. Basket down. You just hit cage. Nah, he spit out. <laughs> Sorry. 
bounce out. Oh. Yeah. Did you know that there is a way to get Velcro off silently? I'm thinking of whether I should show you okay. or if I should pull up the video. I'll show you, I'll show you because I actually have- You have Velcro? Velcro oh yeah, you have the, yeah, yeah. the okay. Dickerson right here. All right, yeah. <clears throat> we need a close up of this one, Kevin. I'll actually let him tee off. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's gonna be quiet, so why does it matter? Well, yeah, it's gonna, yeah, you, you understand what you said. Okay. So look, if you need to be in a situation where the Velcro well, let's isn't first off, hear about how much sound does, okay, does yes, Velcro yes, make? Yes. Okay. All right, that's quite okay. annoying. See? And if, if I'm in church, I'm not trying to have that much sound be made, that's for sure. See, hear that? Yep. Oh, awful noise. Right. Okay, ready? Ready? Yep. Ah! <laughs> Did you hear the Velcro? <laughs> not at all, Chris. <laughs> And Simon wipes out. However, the shot is up and over. We'll see if it can clear. Yeah! yeah. Well done. <laughs> and it's done just that. Looks as if he is 40 feet right of the pin after a slide here into second. It looks exactly like you're playing cornhole. Awesome. But he's doing it with the opposite foot. Right. So that's what makes it look so crazy. But hey, the kid's looks, got it working. It looks like he's tossing a beanbag playing cornhole. That's exactly the same motion. It is. Do something stupid. <laughs> Dude, nice putt, man. Thanks. Well, if you're learning how to do a jump putt, don't learn from don't that right learn there. From that. Really just stoked to talk to you. Um, first of all, congratulations with Las Vegas Challenge. Thank you. First big, huge win in the Pro Tour? No, but I wish. Um, sorry, runner up. Runner uh, my up. bad, excuse That's me. All good. But the pressure of being in that position is leading into my first question. <laughs> uh. You actually are going backhand line. I've never it's seen so this. Oh my gosh. I, I, almost, I almost cussed and I didn't. Because that is just so. It's so. Ah! Gosh. Thanks. A re -tee. Yeah, re -tee. Smart. Wow, that thing has gotten caught. How about I just hit every little twiggly in the whole forest? Won't be in the way next time. Go roller. For me. There you go. Oh, that's over there with your first one. <laughs> Did it just happen? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, oh. you might need this. Here, I'll extend it as far oh, as it goes. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> Here you go. Oh. And that's why we don't throw angry shots. Hey, just, it's just what happens to me. <laughs> it's just what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, where is it? Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. You know, you know what I can't believe? <laughs> What's that? He hasn't found his first shot in the amount of time. <laughs> I can believe that. <laughs>
<laughs> that kicked in Evan Park. Dude, how is it this far over here? That's just literally a 200 foot kick. I'm stuck. So Charlie with a look at it and he's mm. short. There's an anti fist bump, a little clench. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I was Good little shot down the middle. Let's take a look at James Conrad. Cheat shot. Wow. Looks to be okay, but boy, that was a brutal fall, Terry. Yeah, and that is not the first one of the round. You're out in kind of a corner out here, and it's hard to tell what's going on with the wind, so that's the main that's the main play on this hole. All right, little crosswind. You don't have to putt within 30 seconds. You can come off it if the wind's not right. There's no, it's not PDJ. You can it's, take more time you, you want. You're allowed to trash talk. <laughs> oh. You can take as much time as you want, man. Okay, cool. I think people actually like watching people not putt fast. Yeah, that's why. That's why they all love Nico. <laughs> Instead, he's got a tricky twenty-foot putt now. Yeah. Here's, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! My. Wow! Literally. That was a boomerang. Yeah, Koda. Koda was just playing some boomerang. And no, he's not. Uh, he's not reputting. That is where his disc landed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hole that Eagle has struggled with in years past, along with this year. You can get tunnel vision looking through this little gap here. Whoa! Oh, disaster for Eagle. And oh my gosh, he is kicked right. And good bye, whale sack. Yeah. Anyway, hole nine, fun part three, heavy disc golfer's favorite number. Always tough to watch. God. Fuck you, James. The players, including Gannon Burr, this was out on the basket for par. Please tell me that wasn't live. <laughs> yes, it was, Simon. <laughs> really good bid in that wind from from range. No chance with that crosswind. You could see it just kind of blow out. Mm -hmm. James losing his temper a little bit there. Okay. It's dry. That was not a good throw. I can still throw it in, though. Yeah, you, I think you're good. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure he's in. Oh, like the it is, it is, it is. He's three inches oh, yeah. all day. That's what she said. <laughs> that reminds <laughs> me of one of my favorite old Snoop Dogg songs, man. <laughs> you, you probably nobody knows about it. it. Goes, do you got a fresh pair of panties on? I got to know. You probably won't take that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got David's second shot after getting nestled in the bush. Not uh, watch closely. Oh, no. no it's not. Oh, no. The craziest thing is that Dave even called this right after his drive. He said, oh, that's going to be an interesting upshot from there. Wait, what is but this you didn't doing? know how interesting. It's a good question, Ian. <laughs> what is this doing? <laughs> this is nuts. Is that out of bounds? No. No? Okay. It's just moving about one mile an hour. <laughs> Forever. Uh, yep. He tried to shoot it. Didn't work. <laughs> the rest of the guys are in stitches right now. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> they all are. I mean, Dave was laughing about it, too. Somebody needs to gift that and put it on Reddit, man. That was great. I'm all for it. Yeah. Gif it up. <laughs> That's highly gifable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see it. Please. That was unreal. Look, it was going to fall over like five, 500 <laughs> times. This is like through the majority of the trade of the trade of the trade.
just really trying to fight and claw his way back in this thing. Yep. Eagle coming back for his birdie as well. Eagle, you don't miss those. No, and he doesn't punch stuff usually too. I like the aggression. <laughs> Tiny redirect. Yep. He was almost home free without that, but that definitely did Oh, he would have definitely had a, play, a great shot, hit the initial gap. He would have just probably leaked to about 20, 25 feet. This many skins on the line, plus that one CTP. 500 bucks now for these ladies to win. Let's see who's got it. <laughs> oh, foreskin. This <laughs> many. <laughs> <laughs> foreskins. About to circumcise this hole. Just kidding. <laughs> Rick Wysocki, four skins deep already. <laughs> Should I redo it? Say? It's a, it's a... I said Rick's four skins deep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, keep oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's so funny. You couldn't even stop laughing during the filming. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no way. He's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, how are you going to win? Oh. How you hey, gonna I'm safe. How did you hit that gap? How's he going to be four skins deep oh. and do that? Good boy, Hogan. Good boy. Pierce, the long birdie bid on 18. Let's so move her into that second place tie. Look, get the dog off the course. Oh. <laughs> now, I think they're supposed to be on a leash. <laughs> dog gone wild. <laughs> She made putt despite the I dog. She is. <laughs> Watch it go in. Oh, it was close, I guess. Kev, why do we keep pushing all these holes for him? I well, know. you keep shaking them inbounds. <laughs> I don't know, Calvin. It's, it's not my fault. It, but you're the one that threw it. Yeah, but as soon as I shank it, I have no control of that. <laughs> it looked like he had plenty of chains. It did. Rick cleaning up his bogey. Stop a bleeding there. A little tourniquet putt. Yeah. He's going to have to get the wheels moving. Ooh, look at that fanciness, Rick. <laughs> wow. I would say Rick's usually known for, for fumbling the disc out of the basket, but he went ultra smooth on that one. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, hand eye coordinator, no eye coordination. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Bruce lead that thing behind his back. It's like the way Ricky is right now. Like, no stress there. It's just, it's got to go in. Of course, it's going to. Maybe he can't pick it up out of the basket, but hey. Yeah, not too much left for the rest of you guys here. Ricky, maybe about 15 feet, lumbering out the mini. And <laughs> cheesy birdies there. Oh yeah, that's a. You know, it's a. You, you look at that hole, and it's pretty simple. But I mean, if you miss that one, it's um, you know, you, you don't feel great about. Pretzel sticks. Yep. I haven't seen him come into play too much. Great looking putt from Ricky, straight into the headwind there. If you see past the basket here, that's pretty much what you're dealing with off the fairway on the entire course. It's thick, it's not pleasant, right. <laughs> and you're probably gonna get poked by something. <laughs> Episode for the three here is Drew just outside the circle. He likes it. He's walking it in. Oh, it's a little high. And oh, oh, so I'm put a banana peel out there, I guess. Gibson for birdie. Bit of a scary putt. Scary ball. That's a very scary putty, and a lot of things could happen there. It's on a mogul, so it could roll any direction. You got tailwind blowing, kind of a tailwind crossing even. I've seen these roll in the green too, mm. long and left. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed I hit the stop button a little early there. I'm not. That's a that's saving. Terry, where are you at? Oh, oh. God. <laughs> just hit Zach. <laughs> Don't even bother coming over here. He's got nothing. Might as well close his eyes. I mean, I was it. planning on it. Blindfold it. You'll throw it better. Good boy. <laughs> Come on, Terry. Oh, I hate for it. That couldn't be any better. That's amazing. I hate. Is it still me? No. Yep. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> hey, good shot, Terry. Good boy, Thanks. Hogan. 
Gavin say good shot, Terry? Oh, God. There oh. we go. <laughs> yeah, Clear Terry. Off. Did we get oh, that? Just, Yeah, he okay. fell. Come on. It happened in slow motion. You, you don't need to throw. Right, you don't need to throw. Big germ, is that the most wieners you had on you at once? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. I really hope the answer is yes. 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 <laughs> I'm dead. Well done. Well done. <laughs> oh, God, that was impossible. <laughs> that was impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, best rock. Excuse me. I was just like stretching out. Excuse me. <laughs> so you never answered my question. I so said like, it's the most I've like ever counted. Moving, like yeah. Yeah. Most you've ever counted? Yes. Can you count? Cool. <laughs> And I think he executed his game plan on some of the toughest holes in the course really well. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of birdie coming up here to get. There you go, spinning it in there. After a rough stretch of four straight bogeys, he's able to at least take one birdie on 18 to finish one, uh, one over par for the front nine. Like, I think this is what Paul hears in his head when his disc lands. Oh, that's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. Is it this one? <laughs> <laughs> one more? Par three. <laughs> 558 feet, one of the toughest holes on the course. There's a bear. There's a bear. <laughs> There's a bear, I thought. You know, we oh. were actually going to do that for wow. you on your first putt today. Wow. I can't believe that backfired. Oh, that was close to being Oh, a... oh I should have made it. <laughs> Oof. I just heard something rumbling back, and, and I didn't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, geez, Simon. Wow. I scared him into making it. All That's right, how you time, represent. That's pretty annoying for everybody. Canada and the Sweeney <laughs> on the including myself. practice round. Okay, somebody playing through here or <laughs> I mean I've never seen anybody playing Crocs on the wow. Disc Golf Pro Tour unreal a lot of words going through my head but the loudest one is why I'm thinking why not yeah, ready to I mean... line up a birdie <laughs> oh look at this Jerm we got a long-legged waiting bird yeah, that's not what eagles normally do, but this one is out there trying to fish some discs or well, something. I mean, with those long, thin legs, the current almost doesn't affect the bird. So it can move upstream, it can oh. get in and out of the water gracefully. It can, I, ooh, gracefully. Yeah, and look, it got, and it's, got its, it's got its prey right there. Fish caught. Wow. Beautiful. How, how did he throw in the... I, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Here's the run. We have a two-time world champion and four-time... GMC champion, sponsored by Dynamic Discs. Discs. Let's give it up for Ricky Wysocki. <laughs> Into the green. Somebody can, yeah, reference that and just put Yuli's fingers over. And put him in the way again. Just do it one more time. Oh, the, I thought this was the truth. <laughs> Move this down. Yeah, it looks the same. Go for it. Oh, is it us? Is it the low left one? Yeah, I lost all my discs. You got anything you don't like in here? A really good line. Harder, 
Those winds are starting to kick up as we progress through this first round. Fox checking it out. <laughs> wow. Oh, I think it has a mouse. Did you see that? I did see that. <laughs> not interested in the disc at all. That's no, not edible. Not so much. Valerie. It's got a snack for the... F oh, my Whoa. goodness. <laughs> it's not often you have a fox running through the fairway. Edition right. mode right yeah. here because... James watched that, just walked right past him in his own game. Yeah. I would have been like, uh, Yeah, uh, nice shot. Yeah, Eagle, oh my goodness. Instead, James Great. goes straight to Orlando Broom and sweeps off the tee box. <laughs> <laughs> this is a difficult Anheuser shot. This is a par five. Yep. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's been, it's <laughs> taken me a while. You've only thrown a couple shots, Paul, so you... You missed it. It's a good putt, but uh. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me pick. Here you go. Nice putt. That's the way disc golf is sometimes. Oh, that's funny. Do I need to wait on you? That's or... a meme coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if that's not a meme. <laughs> Keen on to correct on the previous circle two putts. And James with the commitment that pays off Circle's Edge. All right. Sacrificing, taking a page out of Ricky's book. We don't have him here today to do it. James going to do it for him. Hole three, we've got a pretty straight ahead shot. Uh, yeah, and um, the players are going to be going over the top of a little OB ditch, looking to move the basket or move the disc a little to the right. Can I? Uh, yeah, sure. It looks like from father. Wow! Over the OB. <sighs> yes, I'm so glad this made it in. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, the highlight of the oh. tournament, folks. So we'll be taking a look as well, you know, the courtesy. I imagine a car or two has been blasted. Oh man, speaking of which. Yeah, because I actually threw <laughs> a skip shot on this hole. And um, yeah, I looked back and then I looked just got into my shot and didn't even see that truck like and then saw it as i released <laughs> man I, I was about to say speak of the devil because I, I guarantee you something's gotten lit up on that road at some point in time blue shirt ponytail rip mj right up the middle loving that spot big guy Speedy arm, clear one, zing. <laughs> Perfect shot. I didn't even watch it. Where did it go? It's great. Tree again, David. Was was not the <laughs> baby. Yeah. That's pretty confident right there. A Wasn't little look it? off. A little look off. I'll the say. walk towards the basket and you don't even look at it. Gotta love it to the left it's a really good flight for Ricky he just needs that to get down is it in oh <laughs> we had we had some excitement we we had some uh we had some manufactured excitement Ricky's drive looked beautiful but uh he got faked out We'll say a, uh, uh, a rogue Eric Oakley made some chain noises, and uh, that well, that's in his face. <laughs> oh, right Come on, up. Mr. Yes. Trucks. Mr. Yes. Trucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no B, it's just you don't want to be down there because it's like literally like a slope like this. Yeah. Early. It like steamed. <laughs> it steamed blew out. His eyes. I, I saw Paul walking back. Here, here's what I saw. I was like, what the hell is he cheesing about? That's what I was doing. All right, good luck with your shot. No air horns are in the area. <laughs> I, I've got like a confusion headache. <laughs> right? I don't have a headache oh, in my ears over, but I'm like, you lived so it. I know. You lived it. Oh. That was you. <laughs> no. 
one. Rick. <laughs> I didn't even know who did it. I was two inches from your ear. Yeah, Paul just that wasn't rounded me. you out. Uh, yeah. All right. Just oh, one, more, one more time, because. <laughs> He doesn't even know who has it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want it. You don't want anything. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> Nobody's gonna do it. This is the easy, that was the last. Yeah. That, that was, was a good, good little. It was a one-time uh -huh. use air horn. That's right. it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I can trust Disposable you. Disposable air horn. I'm gonna be throwing my shot <laughs> like this. <laughs> Try to <laughs> Disposable air horn. Yeah. Disposable air horn. <laughs> oh. All right. Here we go. God, this is impossible now. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome for warming you up. <laughs> <laughs> you clunk your feet together. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Albert's shot. Uh, he is in the water there, and there was a lot of discussion. We were trying to get a hold of a marshal, trying to figure out the best way to play that. Um, is You could play it right behind it, but it they deemed it kind of an unplayable lie, so you're going to see Albert just commit standing in the water realizing he can't stand on the bank behind him um and it would be too far away so he just commits to it gets the feet wet kind of a weird thing it, it was left up to the card but yeah pretty uh pretty strange situation there i believe he could have legally without a stroke taken it at the top of the hill since it's un it it doesn't matter he made his yeah. putt so nice birdie there from albert yep you see joel here he, trying to he lock in, rattling. and man, he has put this in a spot where it's going to need a great break. <laughs> Actually, my goodness. Oh, wow, it's perfect. <laughs> That's it's, sweet. For a moment there. Yeah, that was that was scary. And Simon, let's see what he can do. Ah, and he even goes a little more inside. He's going to need this to hit a house to stay in bounds. And oh, no, that's great. Yeah, it hits the house right there in the middle. You can see the house. Yeah, that's a perfect shot, actually. I keep I keep kind of blowing the call here, but on this one, I am pretty sure this needs to get down. This is in trouble. This thing is floating on the wind. We've got, oh, man. Oh, perfect. Sweet. That'll work. Let me see. What is the <laughs> fairways hit percentage? Okay, it's pretty high. How? <laughs> Garrett wide with this one, and this is going to be a big skip. Can it stop short of the line? It's perfect. <laughs> I, I'm actually surprised only 94% fairways hit. I, I would have assumed this would have been a 99 percentile. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was good. Ooh. No. Uh oh. <laughs> ah! No! No! Careful. No! What have I done? Solid shot by Steven. Also a bit short, though. You know Barella has more than enough power. And he's asking for it to slow down. But, unfortunately, the bush slows it down, which is OB. No, 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 no. <laughs> One of the rare times I find myself talking on camera. It's just such an instinct. To uh, let those kids know they shouldn't pick up the disc and throw them back. I guess they're just trying to be helpful. Oh, I did it again. Whoa, oh, redirect. Right. That sign was in the freaking way. Try this, it's better. Yeah, let me and try these that, fibers. Try huh? <laughs> wow, it's a Safeton <laughs> starter kit. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Let's try this. I brought that. I brought that because I knew you were gonna throw a mortar in a time when you shouldn't. So I brought that Firebird for you. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be hole one. Oh my God! Don't go in. I for sure didn't think it'd be hole one, but sometimes you get lucky. I don't have to carry the weight of it the whole time. <laughs> but yeah, that's yours, man. Thank you so much. The Firebird? Yeah. Oh, that's terrific. Look at that two seventy like... distance. I need like a Firebird. Yeah, something. like a bluey purple one or something. I don't know. You know. Left that on hole one. You did not. I, did, I forgot. I didn't. I just got it. I didn't even know that I even had you it. You did not leave it. Yeah. 
that yeah, if that's true. I know I hate myself for it. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't want to even tell you. You need to be running right now. <laughs> that was a gift. Yeah, and he asked for it too. You wrote like, my name sure in the ring though for me before you gave it to me, right? No. And he said, make sure you bring me one. I was like, oh, I'll pick him a really nice one in a cool color, and I'll give it to him on the video. It'll be really cool. First hole too. Unreal. Go in the water. Can confirm the Firebird is a good disc though. Get roll in the water. There's got to be some justice left in this world. You really got to uh, have a nice touch to compete well. <laughs> that got the good angle. Well, that was a nice bonus. Oh man. Germ, you got to see this. He's augmented. What do you think we should do? The only thing we know how. Just hope that hard work pays off. A few moments later. Oh, no. Yo, go. It's farther into the woods. Oh, oh. The Kristen. oh my goodness. That was forehand straight at the camera. It actually nailed the camera. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Come on. Give the rest of us a chance. <laughs> what? Jeez. Man. And this is why we filmed Ben. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when 14 year olds are for throwing 430 feet. So we can go home and cry. It's now. time to retire, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What was that? Oh that... no. <laughs> Jake. Oh no. Oh. Uh, yeah, what happened to this? I think his hand just betrayed him right there. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, camera jitters. Mm. We'll, we'll call it camera jitters. Maybe I don't know. Oh man, that's unfortunate. There it goes. Ah, he was mm. had a tap in birdie ends up with a bogey. <laughs> oh, that hurts, buddy. <gasps> oh yeah. man, get with those jumpers. Mm -hmm. Eagle leaving it short there. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. When it's going to come and from which direction. I think a little warmer than it was this morning. There's Cannon Burr. Well, the sun's trying to peek out here and there. and It, it does feel a little better when the sun stays out. He's coming for us, Philo. Well, he's coming for everybody. <laughs> yeah, he is. Youngest ever USDGC champion. Getting his season started here today. Get a lot, you know, fairway down the fairway, but is going to have a tester here. Chris with mm -hmm. the, what, 48-foot jumper? Oh, oh, come on now. On your own team's player, Chris uh, Dickerson has... Come on, Prodigy Basses. You got to treat him dude. better than that. Could it... Oh, he just... With your leader, Alan. This looks wide. Oh, oh. no. No. That was 100% coming back in. 100%. She was going to have an eagle putt. That had a lot of oh. power still left on it and stayed OB. Those trees, he'll be throwing his fifth, and he can, in fact, save birdie from there. Uh, sorry, bogey from there. He would have to throw in from here to save birdie. Let's see if he can maintain his composure. That looks to be a good angle. It just cannot skip. And it oh, does. No. Wow. And that McMahon. is exactly what's happened. McMahon's next shot is he picks up his disc and he folds it in half and puts it back into his bag. Eagle McMahon very frustrated with himself. And that's the first real bit of emotion we've seen from, from Eagle that because he's just been so rock solid, just focused in the zone. Wow, back-to-back -back errors for McMahon here. I apologize for not recalling his name at the moment, but I know he has been out here a number of years calling off the players on hole number one. Great to see. Uh, last night, I don't know if you were at the players' meeting. Didn't make it in town in town. Okay, did not, late last did not see you. Uh, one of the cool features of the players' meeting is they had the announcer from the Chicago Bulls call off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Nice. Should have been calling off Michael Johansson. They should have been. He's, That's... <laughs> he's used to a different MJ. <laughs> yes. There you go. Good call. As, yeah, as if on cue, our own MJ, Michael Johansson, throws in for his birdie, for him turnover. What? Yeah, let's take a Sandy Point Resort. Another look at this shot. Lines up quickly and just says, you know what? Putting backhand is too hard. Let's use the forehand. Uh, T of 10. Final nine holes out here in Vegas. We've completed the outward nine. Oh! Oh, oh, oh no. Get no. out of here, no, dude. No, Say it ain't no, so. no, 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 no. Uh -oh. oh, God. Come on, man. I'm sick right now, dude. I'm sure Anthony Barella's heart just dropped down. Peer the gap and get a little bit of a forward skip, and you're going to be in position. Oh, where's PB going? Oh, Right what? down the fairway? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> He can't even believe it. <laughs> that is the funniest reaction I've ever seen. Just unfortunately on that bogey train. Yeah, had such a good round going too. Uh, Grady. Oh, he got attacked by wasps right here, huh? He got attacked by bees, yeah. Yeah. Or wasps, I don't know. Some singing flying creature. If it's coming on the ground, it's usually a wasp. I don't know what it is, but that's inside the circle. I'll tell you that right now. Ugh, man. Yeah. So basically we're... Um, Papa Sexton was over there coaching him through it he's like just put your foot down i'll tell you if they get active he threw his foot down and kind of just rushed his putt a little bit and airballed it you can't blame the guy ah man that's such an unfortunate situation like mm -hmm. when does that ever happen and then have it happen to you just... and 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 there's a three card backup on this hole in front of you so there's so many people around watching you get attacked by st flying stingy things well at least you have a lot of witnesses no that's good right yeah yay yeah. for your lowest point yeah and I just, as a, at least there wasn't anybody recording the situation. That's good. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> the worst angle to attack. Give it a go. You could give that a putt. Macbeth. Oh, this got is... this advantage of watching Drew's play. Don't hit a bird. No. Oh. Just kill the speed. Uh, we have seen some very weird breaks today haven't we we really have did you see what happened on the fpo side this morning no i did not yeah i wanted to talk i about was it. asleep yeah knocked out <laughs> Ooh, right in the tushy but that was going to go another 30 feet probably at least yeah Hi, I'm Nate Sexton, reminding you to play to your strengths. For me, that's the forehand. He's going to have to settle for a par at best. Still has a little bit of meat left on the bone. Ooh, and Ooh a scary one, but mm -hmm. it's in. <laughs> hey, Jay Risley, everyone. With a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ultimate troll. I like that. <laughs> You're not the only one who can dance on an 18-foot putt. I kind of actually forgot that I did that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just double jointed lunch. Oh wow, that's not healthy, man. Hey, yeah, that's not healthy. Walk over to 14. Evelina did miss the par opportunity she had a moment ago, so this is for bogey. Wow, that putt was no more than an arm's reach away. And that's just, that goes to show that mental lapse in her putting style. Look at this comeback putt that she's left with. Now this is almost exactly where she was two putts ago. And 
That is so sad to see her going through these putting struggles again this year. She was in the lead for the final round of this tournament last year. She was in the hunt all the way to, I believe, hole 15. And then all of a sudden, it was like a light switch with her putting and it turned off and then the tournament was out of her hands and there was no coming back. Done and well executed. <laughs> Some light Canada goose res. And a great recovery shot there. Those geese are lucky they weren't a half second earlier. They almost got Randy Johnson. <laughs> Let's take a look at that again. Smash and then <laughs> just barely <laughs> missing. Wow. Are you gonna mark it? Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, man. You're welcome. World class marker right there. Yeah. Bam. Thank you, thank you. Am I getting a call? Oh, hello? Hello? <laughs> Coach Haven. Who would have thought sitting here? Man, you don't even want to know I'm talking Zach no. Yeah. He said, what's up, though? He said, enjoy those wins, but yeah, you better not enjoy them long. Thanks, coach. Yep, just put them in play like you told me. Just making sure I don't make no bogeys. I'm only sparing myself two this tournament. All right, cool. All right. Get that assistant working. You know, offensive coordinator, he's young. Keep him on his toes. Till next time, coach. Roll tie. It's far too early for that. Oh <laughs> because there's also this guy, the Axiom Hex. This is prism plastic, prism plasma plastic. What does that mean? <laughs> Someone explain, please. Um, oh, I think prism means that the outer rim is proton plastic and plasma is, I don't know. I'm going to stop talking about that. I can't tell if that's Eric Oakley or someone more annoying. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm going to a palm tree. Oh, that's OB. Oh, oh man. That's OB. He just bought a new house. It seems like it could have been cool. Nine under par, so great chance here for Oakley if he can keep this in bounds. And Terry, that's immediately left. That's overplayed, and watch out, head hunting. And it's going to hit one of our spectators. Woo. He hasn't little... quite been flashing the McBeast putts yet. Right, yeah. Oh, man. What? Left, I'm, I'm in the bush. I'm yeah. in the bush, and it's like chest high. And there's a bush like right in your face. Right. Oh my gosh, just do it. Yo, oh, make it. Gosh. Oh my gosh. I wanted that one a lot. It would have been very entertaining if you made that. Well, if I would have taken like a fifth of the <laughs> time looking at it just to throw it. Oh. And uh, instead, I've brought dishonor to my household. Uh, Johnny McCray's. Not happy right now, man. And my dad's not happy either. Is he's, he in turbo putter? Yeah, he's been turbo putting since like the eighties. Oh. And he's he does it he still does it regular regularly from like fifteen feet and in. And oh, oh I let you do it. Uh Seppo comes up a little bit short on his Simon comebacker. The win. <laughs> Simon is actually he's gonna maybe do uh what is that? Cirque du Soleil. 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 He's doing. Not one of those holes where you expect to really ever get a bogey, but I mean, there, there is a car path. There is an under the leg putt. Yeah. That's, that, you know, that, I kind of like it. Oh, for sure. A showmanship. I love it. Oh, oh. 
See, the artistry is just coming. Yeah, I was. Wow. Insp I was yeah. inspired. See, I, mean, yeah. I never knew about that. That's just a new part of our game now. Yeah, it's if you're on video, the mm -hmm. tap out needs to be done with a little flourish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to work on some of that stuff. Maybe off season. Because he makes a lot of birdie butts. He does. He really does. So you, yeah, it's not a rare sight to see. Oh, look at this fancy play. Oh, these guys are really there you performers. Go. Thank you very much. There were two threes in the day on this thousand footer. Yeah, we need to set up. I got to set up my commentary partner here, making a three. Take us through how that happened. Rain has started to, to come down now, and it's it's looking like we're about to get hit hard. Yes. Greg, nice little putt there after his uh, kind of putter approach floated away. What? <laughs> I didn't. What a goofball. <laughs> I did not notice that, but that's... No, I didn't see that That's really funny. That's really great. Today, we're looking at at least three solid potentials here. In our, in First chance here by Lizotte. In our last eight tries between these guys, only Ricky and Johnny have gotten the birdie. Two out of eight. And Lizotte... <laughs> He may have just died. But that was uh, hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to say. Probably a good thing he hit that. <clears throat> Paul going destroyer here. Oh, that's just perfect. He gets the perfect flip. Oh my gosh. He's got to avoid that tree. He did. Through a tree. Skip oh, three times. Oh my goodness. And All right. That's a 12 footer for the eagle. There's his drive there. Yeah. You can see. Oh, look at this fella. <laughs> what is that? Oh. Oh. Weird how it skipped up under that rock. Right underneath it somehow. Looks like the cameraman called me out there. Thank you very much. Slow something else down, like a mid range. You yeah. know. Paul wanted to putt there, but I was like, dude, I'm out. You gotta wait. <laughs> That's you awesome. can have your cheers later. Let's see what he does with my, my rock gift. Just oh. give it back to the course. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Incredible. Uh, Nico for birdie. After a pretty good drive. Come on, man. Come on! golf is a mental game it's tough to let those things go and move on to start off with yeah and when overstable discs get flippier and they turn into rollers they tend to turn into the hugest rollers of all time what would you do if you saw a bigger roller right here right now i'd probably not believe it what if it what if a picnic table tried to get in the way but it just couldn't do it no way monster shot all of the 650 i mean he's basically pin high it's tough to find your rhythm from that range when every putt's a different wind right <laughs> centimeters from being in and there it is ian that's that's what those putts will do to you those little mistakes they just start piling on and piling on. Next thing you know, it's death by a thousand paper cuts. You know, you're out here bleeding out. Uh, Eagle's going to throw a grenade, and if you're if you're squeamish, you may want to skip a little bit ahead. As unfortunately, that is going to hit Catch Cam Dave uh, pretty squarely. Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh no! I hope he's okay. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah, we need the report yeah, right is... now is that Dave is uh, he's doing well. He got a few stitches. Um, he's going to be off duty tomorrow, but we look forward to a speedy recovery for him. Wind picking up a little for AJ. Oh no. And look at that. <sighs> and for for all those at home, that does not Count. That does not that count. That's not a good putt. He's going to have to mark and, or maybe not mark. He didn't mark that one. He probably should. I but, think, uh, yeah. And he's going to have to finish the uh, finish the hole with another shot. Yeah. That's Brutal. a tough break. And it seems like that happens so much on camera. Like, 
I, I rarely hear about somebody doing that and it's not like somehow caught on camera for everyone <laughs> to see it. I know it's happened to me on camera before. I've seen it happen to Nate Doss on camera. It's, yeah. it's pretty rare, pretty yeah, crazy. It's, and it doesn't even happen in practice. Like it's just, it seems like that's a tournament only situation. Yeah. Catches and rolls off to the left quick. Luckily it doesn't go in the water. But if you do have that forehand, it plays so much better for the second shot. As you see Chandler having to... <laughs> Look at the squirrel, dude. It's chasing. Oh, he wants it. <laughs> he wants that disc, bro. <laughs> this round's had a little bit of everything, man, I promise. <laughs> I've never seen a squirrel get like that for a disc. That's insane. No, he ran straight to it. That was a big squirrel, too, man. That thing went messing around. Ouch. For the sign. Wow, he smashed the sign directly in front of the tee. So, Luke maybe is trying to make this a little bit more interesting. Ours be for Eagle. Oh my, and some. As he says. Oh, and Barsby was so close. What a stall on that putt. Barsby is in disbelief, and understandably so. He thought he had the Eagle 3. Good putt right there. There he comes coming in and tap in my birdie, Nate. <laughs> Paul doesn't like it when you outdrive him, Nate. No. Hey, it's a good call. He <laughs> yeah. found you and yeah. knew where to stand. Yeah. You should give him a raise. <laughs> the germ for the cleanup, too. What? Uh, uh, I don't even think he knows what to do. Ooh. Like, what do you do? There's all, oh, man, just uh, in front of everyone. I, I'm... Oh, man. Kind of slid into the bushes there too, and it's it, yeah, like less than ideal. Oh, or whatever I, is the least than ideal. I love. I'm the biggest big jerk fan ever, but that was one of the worst putts I've ever seen. That was terrible. Yeah, yeah. All right, barely hit chains. Um. That's a pump. That's unfortunate. A little bit high, but you know, he once again just nods a uh, right to the pole and right out. And yeah. the best, like, all right, I gotta check this out. I know. I mean, exactly. Yeah, he, he spends a sec, like, okay, is this good? Is Chris goat up? Is this tournament brought to you by uh, Pan or something? Or Pam? <laughs> I don't know. Some sort of another title sponsor? All right, he puts it in. He puts it a little softer. Macbeth was actually rigging the shades for Iggy to make sure his disc spit out. So. Yeah, yeah, right. Just kidding. <laughs> you want the shades? Yeah. Give okay. me those things. <laughs> Give me these things. These are actually better than real glasses because, like, they have the whole face to them. Yeah. When I bend down. We can't see how nervous you are about this putt. They're COVID safe. This is weird. I can't. There we go. <laughs> 
Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you could do that. Dude. That was sick. Job we saw from Orem the day before. Still up the middle. And it sticks. What? Seriously? <laughs> Brayden just hit where Dylan's disc was in the tree. <laughs> or, or I'm talking about Trolls the movie. No, there was a conversation about whether or not he gets to play it from where the disc then dropped down after it was knocked out of the tree or if it should be marked where they think the disc was and then go directly below that. So there was some uncertainty on the card. I wasn't about to interject, although I feel like I know the right answer. And they ultimately have now... We just heard provisional called. And so he's going to play it both ways, as if he played it from where it was directly below the disc or from where the disc ultimately hit and landed and was knocked out of the tree by Braden. The wind is trash. Actually, it's You're actually, it's good. You're trash. No, the mic's woke now, so I'm not trashing it. Isn't... Get off! Oh, oh my boy. gosh. Oh, wedgie. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh, what is going on? What is happening? The sky's falling. I for 48th place for Paul Macbeth. A lot of work left. Boy, Calvin, watch out. Back with Hannah to save her par. Hole 17. Ow. Uh, hopefully she's okay after that. Now that's got to be frustrating. Her putting has been so on point today, and now she's back where she just was moments ago. And she is frustrated. Hopefully she can calm herself down. She has been playing incredible up to this point. For bogey. Oh no. One of the birdies, the two birdies of the day. Colin Hanley getting the other three. Oh, Dean. Whoops. Happens Dean. to the best of us. Ouch, quad to oh. start. Gannon with the honors. Four, four, five, four, four. four. Move. Come on, dude. Gannon gets way over on that, and certainly that sidewalk should not be coming into play. I can understand a little frustration. I think that was just a patron walking around that had probably no interest in disc golf from what it looked like or would be my guess. So unfortunate that didn't come out, but I'll also say he shouldn't be anywhere near that sidewalk at the same time and danny almost threw a left hand forehand at it but he goes right hand backhand smashing that max at it oh hold one <laughs> <laughs> what is that danny's having one of the strangest <laughs> tournaments i've ever seen he sure is man that's like a sideways black ace that's, that's like... what i'm saying what do you call it if it's not in the ground no i don't even know Oops. Ricky Wysocki Slammer OB Clash Disc Safe. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Um, I, I you gave me one out there at uh Georgia. Yeah. Did you throw it? Heck no, I didn't throw it, dude. I sold those things while the market's hot. <laughs> I got that one practice throw in with it. That's uh, funny. Flipped it for a quick hundo. <laughs> Thanks. Now to wrap it up. Oh, and she's completely missed that. 
again, it kind what? of stuck in her hand. Yeah, it was sort of a strange little release. Now she usually has such as. Um... Yeah, it looked a bit rushed, maybe. Yeah. She usually has such a smooth release. It seems to be sort of caught up in her hands. Oh no! She's what? Next one. What? This is very um, peculiar, to say the least. It's un unbelievable. Yeah. Oh no! No! Come on! Oh my God! A four putt to end the day. This is a completely unusual triple bogey. That was not triple bogey. Just. What? <laughs> oh my god. A wild Terry Miller spotted up on the green. <laughs> yeah, dude, actually. That's good stuff. Right up here. Well, you actually do have the Sarah gun. Oh, you probably like it, like, right back here. That's why I get super sore. It's so much better when someone else does it. Uh, if you feel comfortable with it, that left glute is ripping oh he's comfortable with it yeah so not close. a good shot oh, Brad. yeah actually down the left side oh, oh my god. <laughs> you just yeah. start throwing like draw it in close. 400 feet further oh my god oh my god this is weird dude th thank thank you money. Any money. wow i'm a brand new man two seconds later Coming in low. <laughs> what the heck? Ace pot. <laughs> Two G's, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> is that such a black I don't know what no it is. No way. <laughs> you ace it. I'm not gonna lie, that is the first time I have ever recorded what is referred to as a black ace. Anytime you accidentally ace the ba a basket you're not going for or trying to get, it is commonly referred to as a black ace. That basket, as you can see, even had a black garbage bag in it, uh, just to ensure that players don't play to it. Apparently, this basket had been aced three times this weekend. That's what uh, tournament director Sam tells me. So, <laughs> and now look at the obstacle that it remains for Luke. Uh, you have to mark your lie, and you you would treat it just like a tree. You're not you're not giving any any penalties. Uh, there's no other consequences other than. Kind of an awkward position. <laughs> Did I hit it? Did I hit it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was actually a disc that had. This is a, a scary <laughs> shot. <laughs> Oh, She's and that's smoking. a groundhog. Oh, there's a bunch of them out here. Yeah. Oh, he's got a little scratch on his back, itch on his back. She's like, can I, what do I do? I mean, play the course as, as it is, right? I mean, she can't move the thing, can she? <laughs> no, I guess she can. She can try to get him there to move so she wouldn't be moving. There married. he goes, down into the river. We'll see if he pops his little head out there, working her. And she's got to hit that gap, and then it's still got to be moving left. No, I don't think we have one person inside the circle. Or no, we have one inside the circle, I will say. And Drew with the 
absolute <laughs> dagger. And... Did did he think he missed it, or is he? No, I think there was maybe something going on between him and Jeremy. That okay. Seen more than anything <laughs> like more like I told you I could do it. Sure. Or, you know, we, this is definitely a card of of guys who like to shatter. Oh yeah. No, oh, from that far mm -hmm. out. That's hey, Sean, awesome. this is whoa. <laughs> Nice, Sean. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the story here is that Bradley told Sean that he would give him $20 if he jump putt. His penalty stroke was on that side of the pond, obviously. And he would he'd jump putt it into the water, which I'm sure we've all thought and joked about. But but Sean took him up on it, and uh, he wanted to make the putt too, obviously. But yeah. it was funny enough that he just did it. So he made it easy, 20 bucks, and then goes and, and gives Joey a hug and yeah. shares the shares the love. So oh, that was that's great for the, the <laughs> cinematic feel of a jump. Yeah, Pro. I mean we got the slow, mm -hmm. our first ever jump putt into a pond slow Yeah, mean, and then of course Ryan's next and has the same lie, and they try to talk him into it, but. Ryan kind of learned. Yeah, he learned from from the the, the outcome there. He and, said, "I don't need twenty dollars. I'm just gonna make it easy on myself." Yeah, I think that's what they're kind of arguing about there. It's like, <laughs> why? Why? Look at him. Look at Sean in the back. Yeah. <laughs> that shirt was white before he jumped in the pond. If you remember, now it's a little tint, yeah. shade of brown. Yeah. All right, we have found Eric's favorite hole. There's Eric. Inside the circle, knock down birdie. Get a stroke on Eric, Mando. Okay. Natural nature of the, the course. There's not a lot of unnecessary out of bounds. Like there's a lot of water that denotes that OB as Eagle. Is that hit cage? Mm -hmm. Nicely well, done. Let's yeah. see how close that was to going in. Let's, let's uh, check that out of here on the replay. And a little dick. I forehand into the green from about level with it. Paul going to rip a force up the hill. And, ugh. oh. Unfortunately, catching one of the Pro Tour cameramen. Uh, yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. That could have been pushing long into that branch and not had much of a putt anyway, but. Uh, never, never something you really want to have to guess about. Able, so I'm going to go with my favorite destroyer here and try to throw a flex. Oh man, that is, how far is that? 460 feet? Yeah. Get Over flippy. Water. Get flippy. Roll. Roll. Uh, Harder than ever, but it's so close. Look at that. So close. I hope she doesn't forget to mark her CTP. Oh no. Oh no. That hurts in my whole body. Oh, she's laughing she, about it, but still, uh, that was nerves, if something, and I can't believe, now she forgot to mark it as well, and I don't think she's allowed to mark it now when she has... Oh, unfortunate moment there, she... Horrible! Horrible! Yeah, she isn't allowed to mark it after she would have been most likely having the CTP. Oh, guarantee, because it's the yeah. last, last card. I think they should still give it to her, but... Oh. And now it's just falling apart. Off the hand. Give me the left. I'm, this is my right. Give me the left. You ready? You ready? Watch this. Are you going to fart? No, I'm turning the same way as you. Do you see this hand? It's, a, it's my left hand. Yeah, you turned like you were just gonna go boop. No, I was, I was making sure that you knew this was my left hand. <laughs> Enough commitment. Yep. Zachariah? Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> I the like moves. the style. <laughs> I like the shot too. Uh, I don't remember if he called bank. <laughs> I remember...